Welcome to Starfinder, The Fragments of Eternity, Session 38. Uh, it's just turned 8.38, just as I said that. It is the 11th of December, 2019. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players, minus Callum. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nico. And I'm Poinzora, the best cat. Bye! Hannah Barbara, don't sue us, please. <laughs> I'm Alex, I play in Nix5, the Android mechanic, and I think Bruce Wayne, Wayne is the real villain. Hello, and welcome to our pre-election special! <laughs> Tonight, I will be running down all of the candidates and why you shouldn't vote for them, starting with the idiots. Um, so, yes, uh, hi, hi, I, I, uh, I, I uh, notably am Colin, and uh, I will be playing uh, Lyco Quint, your resident... Uh, not even <laughs> resident, just top lad, good guy. Resident top lad. <laughs> mm, mm. It's not the yeah, that works. biggest that. selling title, um, but yeah, miss sold a lot on the gay scene, I believe. Um, but <laughs> meanwhile, here we are in Starfinder. What do you remember from last time? The gay scene meme. <laughs> <laughs> the captain is terrible at first aid, if I recall. Mm. And impressions. You know Absolutely. Yeah. Um, a lot of impressions, though. Don't speak of impressions. How dare you? <laughs> Zig, Zig had a moment. <laughs> they kept on getting stuck. Huh? <laughs> they kept on getting stuck. <laughs> stuck, but, you know, locked in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, there were some weird muscle doors. Yep. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, remember when you yeah. kicked something and then you shot at it with like sonic, like anti-biological weapons? It almost worked. I know, I'd say it definitely worked. It did a thing. Yeah. Which was my main motivation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doing stuff is a good thing in an RP. Don't let anyone tell you any different. <laughs> yeah. The motto of all murder hobos. I mean, yeah, it's what their characters would have done. So I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. Uh, no, it was last session. Um, yeah, so that's good. No, I just won't tell you see what I've got the murder hobo for Christmas. Excellent. Um, <laughs> what, what else do you remember from last time? Uh, we got an egg. Yeah. Yep. It was some sort of kinder surprise. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, gonna make a toy. Fairy queen sister. Oh yeah, she was not happy, was she? I mean, mostly on account of the captain being kind of weird. And I told her sister was dead. Mm -hmm. And tried to blame it on her money. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, Which poorly. Didn't, didn't seem unreasonable. Yeah, no, it, it didn't. But he, you he did drink her. You got, you got a zero, so that was... <laughs> I mean, wrong. yes. <laughs> and it's... I would recommend in future not doing that. It wasn't it could that much a of a 20, lie. Right? So... No, it couldn't. I oh, know. I can't roll. I, I can't roll it. What is the most you can roll two. out of interest? So is it like an 18 is the highest you can roll? 18 is the highest I can roll, yeah. Oh my God. Which means a 0 wasn't even my worst result. Wow. Um. Yeah, minus 2. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh, wait, no, probably. Does it not? Actually, oh, no way. Zero. Buff, minus 1. Mm. I've only got minus 1. Oh, you're minus. Oh, well, oh, well. Oh, he's, he's like, there we go. Yeah. Or he's lying to us now and we're buying it. We definitely roll it to zero. Um, yeah, that. I did roll it to zero. I, I think you I had you, the score that appeared in the box. I think. Zero. There you go. Yeah, I've got a minus one. I've got a minus. So you rolled two, one, presumably. Then. You yeah. Yes, yeah, so that was the worst. A minus method. one to the one which you rolled. And the it's just that since motive checks against me, mm -hmm. have a uh, harder. Yeah, way Yeah, because it works the same way, really, doesn't it? Like it's yeah. um, it's nice about the androids that you can't really read people, but they don't really read you. At the same time, yeah, uh, story of my life. Well, oh. Like a book that you're not reading, it doesn't read you. That's most <laughs> books, though, I think. If not yeah. all books. There you go. Um, <laughs> but for now, at least. And, um, <laughs> uh, we are focused. Yeah. And ready. Oh yeah, we're totally on the wall. And again, I'm just going to say this now for the recording: Zig cannot be the anchoring factor of this group. Uh, hello, Callum. You're precious. And um, <laughs> if we can. Callum, if you're listening to this, message me about War of the Worlds finals. <laughs> Don't use this as a way to contact him. 
<laughs> it's this just is my <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, he is probably more likely to check this than he is the actual chat. No offence or shade intended. Um, YouTube is my message in a bottle, <laughs> which is my first album. A bit of good podcast. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, distractions aside, he's met Adro lady that said the she princess. was the queen's sister. Um, and that she was the true queen and she'd been usurped. So that was a thing that happened. Um, what else did you learn? She remembered... Oh, excuse me, I'm a tired lad. Uh, she remembered things from what we would call the gap, and she, she would call the time that she was out of sight of the thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and she really hates that tree. Yeah. Or she needs it burned for some reason. You know, one of the she, she is an anti-druid. Yeah, she had that nice shimmering shield over her. It seemed like that was her, her coat. But prison. then it wasn't. Oh, the dragon reveal was maybe that was her protection and or the tree. She somehow to bound be somehow. to the tree. Right? Who um, knows? But um, yeah, I, I, I elected to trust her. You know, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> um, what does Zora remember? Did we miss anything Zora doesn't remember? Boy, what? Mostly sure. just waiting to see if Nico's actually here. I'm actually here. Uh, I've been talking to my muted. Uh, Perfect. Join us. Hasn't most of it been? Public? I don't know. What did you say when you were muted? <laughs> uh, most of what they said. <laughs> uh, she knows things beyond the gap. Uh -huh. okay. I, I see Nico. No, it's fine. Person. Phone it in. It's fine, Nico. <laughs> you know, session 38. Phone it in. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, can I ask the um, audience? Actually, do you know, lifelines wouldn't be a bad idea for an RP design. Do you know that? Just as a, you know, a thing. Just ask the audience. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Maybe they work on that for my, my system. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, let us move on to goals then. So, we have Zora. You have escaped the vault with the whole crew, question mark, that is currently within the vault and alive, dot, 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 post haste. Agreed. Okay. <laughs> so you're happy keeping that, yeah? I'm happy with that, yes. Cool. Uh, I was going to call you Nixilus 5. Uh, um, Nix 5. That's Saint Nixilus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bah humbug. Um, <laughs> there was no good pun for Bah humbug, sadly, with our game. No NPCs fit that. Like, I need to work on that. Um, reclaim SK's corpse. We're still going with this one? Uh, I think not. Okay. I think that's probably. Um, I don't know. It's up to you. Like, don't take my shock at that for a uh, a gold decider. That's it. I don't think I've got anything else immediately obvious. I'm yeah. not necessarily in favour of helping anyone in this situation, frankly. Mm. Um, <laughs> except ourselves, obviously. To not be dead. I feel like that's a lofty goal, though, isn't it? It's like a particle. Help ourselves for the first time in the game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What we do? Um, I'll just rig this ship to explode. Then we'll go salvage the ship, but I'll get half the people killed. Um, yeah. Who would do such a thing? Who would live in a <laughs> ship like this? <laughs> <laughs> who would live in a ship like this? Um, is that you? Life project. <laughs> what the light Grossman effect? Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'll probably actually stick with that one on the basis. I can't think of anything else. I think that's valid. Yeah, it's still a valid goal um, to have anyway. Um, yeah. Because I think the other one you've got is what get Ivan data from Aspis, and that seems to have caused some problems already. So, um, yeah, that's not entirely my fault, though. Like it's almost kind of why you're in a vault right now. Almost. Um, so yeah, and then, oh God, <laughs> so that's a lofty goal. Yep, yep, yep. I like it. Um, I have fifty percent completed that goal. Um, for our listeners at home, uh, that's our Patreon highest level. Um, for that one, <laughs> like and subscribe. It wasn't even me that um, went to Patreon joke first this uh, time. No, 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 I figured it'd cash in that now. Uh, right, but speaking of you, uh, like O'Quint, find means Why? to kill Hemani. Yeah, I think that's a good one. I think we should do it for the sake of justice and puppy dogs and John Wick. Um, sure. Uh, uh, children. Yeah. I feel like I just need a censor colon button sometimes. I just need to start programming <laughs> that in. I, these are all. Listen. These, these are all perfectly. You know it's going to be good when you have to say, listen. <laughs> With your hands on your hip voice. 
<laughs> my listen is one of my trademarks, one of my verbal trademarks for when you just know the good shit's coming. <laughs> just makes um, you think of that line from Buffy where it goes, uh, they talk about how she's got her hands on her hips or she's holding like her cross, and that's it. That's the two emotions Buffy had. Um, <laughs> Right, and uh, Zig, your current goal is confront the captain about the role in the crew, and you've scored out and come to terms with Melting Boys, because I feel like you, you came to terms with Melting Boys. So I feel like, um, any objections to that goal, Zig? Nope, good. Um, so yeah, we've all got goals. Uh, right, so, meanwhile, back in the actual game, we were in a vault. Let me find our way back to the vault and then scroll through the, the endless map and try and find out exactly the part where you guys hid because it's in here somewhere. It's always nice when one of my maps responds really quickly and the other one responds really slowly. And the one that responds slowly is the one that the viewers watch at home, so please stand by. <laughs> viewers, plural. <coughs> How lavish of me. Um, well, the Zig and uh, the viewer. Yeah. That other one. Yeah. <laughs> Just mostly me when I forget what I was doing. Um, it's like, where were we? What were we doing? What timeline were we in? Who messed up what? And that comes up all too often. I've never messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Molly. Um, <laughs> Right, okay, yeah. so I think we are. Everybody managed to find where we are on the map? Where are map? Damn it. Yeah, map. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm almost. Good, good. Hey, map. So. Yeah, there we go. Right, so we get there, and I believe the last scene that we had was the field dispelling a wave of the the drow lady's hand and then she just points behind her towards the tree and just says burn the tree and then we faded out there and uh, probably played some cool hip rock and roll track and then yeah i don't know what hip rock and roll track it could be but uh yeah probably thunderstruck let's face it so <laughs> that'll do but we, do, we don't want that so just imagine it for free facing your own world free music over us <laughs> um, Please uh, feel free to exercise all rights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we fade back in on that moment. Who does what? How would you propose we bomb the tree? <laughs> With fire, Captain. But there's a barrier between the tree and us. You just removed it. I don't think you're looking at the map, Nico. Well, wasn't there a barrier? Like, she removed it. Oh, she's removed, moved the barrier. Yeah, Why didn't she do that the whole fucking time? Nico, I think, <laughs> see if you could look at the map like we were, we were expecting you to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm looking, but I, I, do you, I, do I you, don't you, remember that do there you, was do you a see, do you, do you see the barrier? Uh, I don't remember for last time if there was actually a visible barrier. There oh, there was. Like, so, see if I just do this. Yeah. Can I remember see, the visible can, barrier. Can, can, yes. can, you see the, can you see the barrier? Yeah. Right, okay. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> this is your time. captain. Blah, blah, blah. This is your blah, blah. captain. Oh, I know. I shoot the tree. Just. Why, captain? <laughs> Fire gun, right? <laughs> Why? Grad I mean, just. Yeah, shoot the tree. Yeah, that's, that sounds good. Right. Shoot. Should we have a look at the tree for? I mean, why don't we just roll initiative and see what happens, right? So let me just load up the initiative oh, tracker. No, tree. I just I just need to see who gets to act first in this mess. So it's a tree. click on your tokens, roll initiative. Let's see. Oh, so click on the uh, token. token. I forgot to take one. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you fools! So, I would never do that. So click on your tokens, roll initiative. Oh fuck. <laughs> Oh, point uh, what have you done no, to me, I can see it's selected. Okay, so Lyco's the voice of reason here. No, he's not. He's not clicked his token. Oh, he's not? Yeah. I have clicked my token, it's just not believing me. I'll try again. <laughs> Who clicked the right token? Lyco is the voice of reason. Always. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what, 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 what. 
So uh, right, yeah. So okay. she says burn the tree, and no, yeah. <laughs> you see the the captain like just move his hands Trady's towards gun. his gun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hardly like I shoot him. <laughs> no. Uh, Triple uh, attack him, like <laughs> the only way. Captain, I'm not sure if that's the best way to go about this. Oh, weren't we all on board about releasing the the crazy lady? I excuse me. Hmm. Well, you're a little bit crazy. My inside voice, Captain. Uh, oh, that's dishonest. I didn't realize you were a qualified psychologist. <laughs> Psychiatrist. Psychologist, don't diagnose. Well, we, we edit that so she's accurate. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was just imagining, like, was I just blankly looking straight forward? <laughs> I have chosen to put these people like in a position where they can determine whether I live or die mm -hmm. through their actions. <laughs> They're so bad at it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say is, um, yeah, we should perhaps um, investigate before we decide how we're going about this. Is there anything unusual about the tree? I mean, I'm assuming you want to burn for a reason. Don't just generally dislike trees. She kind of just. I don't know, she's probably still staring at Zora. She's maybe not really taking in anything you've said, to be honest. Well, I just feel like, stand back! <laughs> like, huh? White eyes? I don't have anything fiery. And then she slowly turns her head to kind of regard you, Lyco. And she says, Forgive me, I was distracted. And she kind of like, her face softens a little bit, and she's kind of waiting. The the tree is presumably what's keeping you here. Is there anything, if it has some sort of uh, power to it, is there any specific way we should uh, go about destroying it or not? She kind of like you can see she's clearly like thinking something over. In her head because her eyes narrow slightly and uh, she kind of keeps staring at you though and holds your, your gaze and then she says I am bound to this tree it needs to be destroyed for me to leave here and she kind of like motions with her, her, her open palm to like the ground in like an arc to like the edge of where she's standing yeah and uh the method of destruction doesn't. Any old fire will do. Preferably fire. But yes. I nod in acknowledgement. Uh, okay, Captain. I, uh, I am completely on board with your plan. I just wanted to be clear that that wasn't Pew. gonna... For <laughs> 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 sake. Oh dear. Oh. Are, you, are, you, are you rolling an attack? Uh, yeah, I'll roll after I watch me mess the tree. <laughs> mess the it very, hard. The very. <laughs> You're free now, Queenie. I mean, why don't we save the tree? Right? Maybe, she, maybe the tree's bound to her. Yes, <laughs> yes! <laughs> just oh god, the lizard brain is taking over. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm missing steps doing karaoke. And I missed the tree. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> oh, you missed the tree. <laughs> How do you know when you need to hit a tree? No, you don't miss the tree. Oh, it's it's like, probably got good KAC right or CAC. <laughs> yeah, but it's not very good at dodging, so it's <laughs> <laughs> uh I imagine it chooses its reaction to reflect it back at you no. Um, Here's the thing, right? Ryan, you 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 have absolutely no excuse because you knew all of us were like this before you started this RP. I don't know if that's hundred percent true. I feel like I had faith in the wrong thing. <laughs> um, 
I, I mean, you tried to make me a captain before, or a, a semi-leader before, and I made Ludwig, so you, you got yourself <laughs> into this. He's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, no, I like Ludwig, I thought he was good. Yeah. He was hilarious, but was he competent? <laughs> <laughs> he was present, so that is something. Um... I got us the money, right? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Uh... <laughs> okay, let's see. What's, hap <laughs> What's happening with the tree? Oh, God. So the tree... the tree is happening. So Rip. yeah, it catches fire. Rip. Um, For those visuals. I know. Check it out, man. Oh, wow. It's the future. Stunning visuals. This is <laughs> it's like the new Doom it, film. Industrial light and magic eat your heart out. Um, this this is why we make the big box. So, this is the dawn of twenty twenty right here, man. So it's as you future. do that, you shoot the tree, and obviously, like it, like immediately <laughs> goes up in the flames as soon as the laser blast hits it. It's as if um, the tree was highly flammable. Is this a metaphor? Kind of like me. <laughs> what for the game, Alex? <laughs> I found them. Yeah. Oh. Okay, um, a metaphor for criminals and how they are currently superstitious law. And why uh, Bruce Wayne should be funding more oh services. Oh god. So anyway, um... <laughs> <You asked. laughs> So... Is this just uh, how long till Ryan loses resolve points? This <laughs> 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 happens when you start late. Oh dear, I know. It's it, it's us. Let's we, face it. We get in the funniest moods. Yeah, um, yeah, we do. Um, yeah. We so as you hit the tree, right? the tree goes up in flames. Like there's that kind of almost backdraft of whoosh noise uh, that shoots up the tree and starts to like completely engulf it in flames. The flames have like a gold flicker to them as well um, at the edges and she falls to like her knees um, in pain and she like screams out in agony with one hand like on the floor in front of her and she's buckled over clutching at herself with her other hand. Okay. Um... So I mean narratively really it's Nyx's go. But yeah, this isn't really combat. Which we should have, so yeah. <sighs> I'm trying to weigh up the Nix's caring instinct versus Drow Queen. Mm -hmm. Eating Drow Queen. That's not too easy. You could just you could just stare on, and we'll have that shot of like your eyes just with the tree reflected in it. Burning. Yep, yep. It's just the calculating shot. I like the idea that it, it's like looking over the Drow Queen in the reflection. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then, what yeah. was the tree? Is that what Dick says? Sorry. Yeah. Just to the room or to her or? Just to the room. Just. Um, almost. Yeah. Is it like kind of. Slightly. Yeah, I was going to say, because it might be muted out by the roaring flames and the screaming. Yeah, there's a good chance the light goes probably the only one that hears it. <laughs> like that. Yeah. So like I just hear is what was the tree? Kind of muttered <laughs> almost to himself by Nick Five. Um I, I think, you know what? I think it's a combination of sad and exasperated. Mm. Not fully paying attention to that, because I think I would be probably, you know, taking a step forward, sort of Yeah. Lowering myself down slightly, not bowing over, not like mm -hmm. bending, not not kneeling. But just sort of inclining slightly lower, like just to look at her, and see how she is, if she's visibly wounded or anything. Is she? Do I do I, do I need to roll, or can I just see? I, like you can't spot anything that looks obvious. Like nothing's hit her or anything, right? Because you were kind of looking been like at a her. Psychic backlash um, or something, presumably. Yeah, like it, it. It's hard to tell, really. But as you get closer, to obviously kind of get a look at her. Obviously, Zig's kind of in your way, so maybe you just shove him to the side. Yeah, narratively, I should have him. Um, and also actually, and then... Uh, Gay excuse, bitch. So yeah, you, you get closer, and as you step closer, there is like waves of heat coming from her. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, we can get I suppose so. Way because that was just there to work like out a few lean, shot on. lean in a bit closer still and sort of ask her. Uh, yeah, um... God, how would I free... Uh, no, he, he would literally just say, are you okay? <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Uh, are, are you okay? I think the only thing she does is she kind of like reaches out really quickly and does that thing where she like grabs onto like your chest. What is it like Lyco's wearing right now? Uh, actually, he would be wearing the uh, <laughs> the Eoxine garb, which is interesting considering he just claimed that I had no like, you know, yep. uh, masters, but yeah, perhaps she uh, would appreciate the irony. Yeah. Um, it's so like... I'd be wearing basically like old fashioned bow mail mm -hmm. <laughs> sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like... I just love that it goes, We don't work for the Oxians, weren't you speaking Oxian? Yes. Are you wearing the Oxian sigil for Bone Sages? Yes. Well, I'm waiting for, for a specific yeah. Bone Sage. I've got this nice with Bone Sage book um, bookmark feather thing. Mm -hmm. so That's true. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which kind of covered in the Oxian stuff. Mm -hmm. Are we the bad guys? <laughs> No. <laughs> no. I'm confident. <laughs> it's almost a mile because you can. <laughs> Inadvertently, kind of, but let's not speak about it. <laughs> okay, Mr. War Criminal. Yeah. I mean, uh, we're all war criminals at the moment. <laughs> we're all oh, war criminals war here. Criminals down yet. Yep. <laughs> it's war criminals all the way down. Um, it probably is. And, uh, yeah. But not so, the bad ones. <laughs> the, the mostly okay ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, she grabs onto like your kind of, like front of the, like your your armor, if you will, and that kind of almost to like steady herself, and then she start like she kind of lifts her hand off the floor and kind of like holds it against her kind of chest, um, and she tries to like stop like kind of screaming and it becomes like heavy breathing and panting towards the floor, as she's slowly trying to get her breath, and obviously as it's just waves and waves of heat, you can feel the heat from her hand on you, as well. Um, like it's maybe even starting to like turn some of the the armor where she's gripping. Okay. Um. She's like she's trying to like, for lack of a better term, like get a grip. So that's probably a little um. Probably uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I probably sort of instinctively like almost take a step back. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, maybe shuffle. Very minutely before realizing, eh, maybe I shouldn't, mm -hmm. um, and per perhaps like offer my arm to like help her up if she wants. Yeah, and um, as I said, she does that kind of heavy breathing thing, and she kind of like turns it into like almost like controlled breathing. And she's trying to like breathe, and she like stands um, up, kind of like you feel like weight being put on yourself as she like, uses you to like help stand up, and then uh, she lets go of you. And she's got like her eyes closed and she tilts her head back and she just breathes out really slowly. And there's this weird gold vapor that seems to leave her. And then the tree is just like this burnt out kind of like husk now. Um which we don't have art for because the budget didn't stretch that far. Um sadly. So. Think uh I think Teldrassil on a much smaller scale. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, right? Um, but yeah, so the tree's just this burnt, kind of blackened, crisp thing. Um, this kind of black vapour coming off of it, not so much smoke. And she just stands there with her eyes closed, with her kind of silvery hair tilted back, just slowly catching her breath. What do you do? Mm. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to say, right? I'll, I'll, I'll be meta and say to the group, like, I, I, I you know, want to say something to her about, like, oh well, you know, that took a lot out of you. You're obviously more bound to that tree than we expected, sort of thing. But I don't know if necessarily it would be likely to make that observation first. Mm. Um. Oh, Nix is still staring at the tree, I think, contemplatively. Mm -hmm. um, again, with significantly less concern for the Drow Queen than he mm -hmm. normally would have. So, can Nix roll whatever you can justify as a memory roll? <laughs> uh, regarding You looking the tree. at that tree, yeah. Um, would it be culture? 
or tree memory. mysticism, life science. Uh, Both sides. Mysticism is a good show. Oh, yeah. spooky yeah. show. Mystic tree thing. Spooky. 23. Cool. Shit. I'm impressed with Mystic for a mechanic. Yeah. Um, to be fair, it's probably just the people you hang out with. Um, yeah. It's entirely easy, boy. The. You staring at the tree. Like now that it's not got this kind of weird golden radiance to it, and the like the leafy branches and whatnot, the shape of it, you get waves of deja vu. Um, and for a brief second, there is a flash of the white room where you had the console that had mm -hmm. query, and there was a tree and a path and a pond. <laughs> all in white and the tree that was there looks identical obviously this is a black one now so black and burnt mm -hmm. to the weird white form of a tree that you saw in there can I approach the tree? yeah don't go to the light Yeah. And you guess just kind of lay a hand on it. Kind yeah. Of focus on it. And like, as you can, like, put your hand into it, like, you can see it's like, um. It, as soon as you put pressure on it, you can see, like, a lot of the ash shift, um, from it. But it's, like, almost like built up carbon as opposed to ash itself, if that makes sense. So it's mm -hmm. more like black, fine powder than ash. Um, so as you touch it, it's like got almost that sand dune effect of it slowly all cascading. Yeah, I push it away. <laughs> yeah, and then it starts the chain reaction of the whole thing just like falling. And it just is dust. And then that dust continues to like wisp up into this black vapour that just seems to slowly dissipate away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I think with you that you just hear the word. I watch with concern. <laughs> you hear like the room fill with the word. Thank you. It's nice to breathe again. What was that? And she kind of looks at you. Um, it's like, do you turn away from staring at the ash pile? <laughs> no. Okay. She. Uh, I think she walks up and just stands kind of next to you. Um, at the pile, and then I think she like leans down, like just kind of scoops up some of it with her hand, um, and she holds it out to you. I'll put my hand out, and she just pours it into your hand, and it kind of like don't even think it hits your hand. It's almost like it's um, like ink and water, like it just like mm -hmm. vanishes like before it kind of like hits you, and it turns to vapor and floats away, and she says, "Gone." And she walks oh, back towards uh, Lyco. And she looks you up and down. She looks at the mark she's kind of left on your armour a little bit. The kind of like slightly gripped dent that she's made on your chest piece. And she says, Are we bound by formalities now? And Lyco is muted. <laughs> Please stand Lyco. by. <laughs> Call in. No, he's gone. Why oh, the fuck am I? Oh, I'm sorry. Scared. I don't know why that was. <laughs> so, um, to reframe the scene, she'll walk up to you after saying gone to Nix, and she looks you up and down, notices the kind of dent on the armor she's made uh, from like our, our slight impression of her hand, and she says, Are we so bound by formalities now? I'm. I've never really been one for formality. And she says, eh. "Good." And she just leans in and gives you a hug. Uh, I am <laughs> briefly, slightly startled, uh, <laughs> and then we'll kind of like politely return. <laughs> um, I love the idea. Like, what weapon are you holding in your hands? Because it's probably awkward, right? 
sniper rifle. Yeah, yeah. this is awkward. Okay, I guess I'll hug you. Um, like, I'll take the hand that would have been on the like the uh, the. How have I forgotten the word? Like how trigger? have I forgotten the word? Barrel trigger hilt. Yeah, it would have been like, the trigger strap, would have been the handle. Um, like, yeah. <laughs> gun parts. <laughs> um, and then sort of return with that and. Uh, yeah, she has a um, very pleasant aura and smell about her. Um, yeah, let's not get into the Yankee Candle of a uh, sense though. But yeah, <laughs> okay, you get what I mean. Other candle providers are also available. Um, Is that what Hermione did with the Trial Queen? <laughs> what Yankee Candle? Do? Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Um, mm, Christmassy <laughs> scented drow. <laughs> Delicious candle wax. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so she hugs you, and it's one of those proper, like, kind of genuine, you know, <laughs> like embraces, I guess. Um, and then she like kind of straightens herself up again, and she just smiles at you, and she says, "I don't think you realize how much I appreciate this." Um, maybe not. Well, your uh, gratitude seemed genuine, so. She like, gives you like a, a polite nod. And then she looks um, over at Zora and she says, Unfortunately, wedding preparations will have to wait. <laughs> and then she starts to, just, was... she just starts to walk out the room. Uh, looks like she's landing on a different husband anyway, and I'd kind of just smirk at Lyco. I just look disapproving like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I do you, do you stay, should, uh, I was going to say, yeah, do you stay in the room for a little bit and let her get ahead, or do you just follow on? I, I, mean, I wouldn't follow immediately unless, you know, yeah, Captain so like, did. Well, let her kind of like wander down the corridor a bit, and then she can get like out of. She gets out of the room though, I probably would just sigh and just go, I hope we don't have to regret this, like everything else. <laughs> uh, well, we shall see, but uh, it, it, I don't know, sometimes you uh, have to go with your gut, right? And uh, not like we could uh, do much research. <laughs> it's the first time I've released somebody and somebody's been hugged though, right? That's going to be a good start. Yeah, it's different. Different. Um, Nix, are you uh, with us? Next time, can we see what the mystical tree is before we burn it? Next time, can we not release a monster? <laughs> are you lucky she doesn't hear you? Uh... I don't think Zora cares at this point. <laughs> He's probably fed up. I don't think that this particular individual is a monster, so... But, who knows? Let's hope you're right. We've been wrong before. <laughs> it's a habit. Yes. I don't know, her presence is, um... I'm not saying you can always tell, but they're... You know, a lot of the people that we deal with, in, especially in recent times, you just kind of get a feeling that they're not good news, right? Whether it be because they're a magical cloud of horror, or... Whatever. A pestilence. She gave the opposite impression. It's not much to go on, but as I say, like, we're we're kind of limited with our time and resources here. I do appreciate. I I'd rather have known a little bit more about the tree, but uh, I don't I don't really understand magic yet. So. Slowly ripples with black energy. <laughs> I didn't see. I don't have anything to do with it. I just don't Doesn't understand it. <laughs> I just let's <sighs> just hope 
that our lives are worth it. <laughs> to us or her? <laughs> to everyone. Do you need to handle that egg, Captain? If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think for narrative purposes as well, we can just see Zig is helping with the egg if you want to free up Nyx a bit, but if not, you can all have a go at helping the egg situation. Helping mentally. No, no offence to Zig, but um, <laughs> more help would probably need it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big egg. He's a small person. Yeah, yeah I don't know. He'd probably brain heft it. <laughs> I don't know what to do exactly in that regard, but you know. Mm -hmm. the, the kids, the kids got a lot going on up there. Definitely does. Um, yeah. If, if we're gonna leave just before we do, I would, I would say like that. Uh, that tree does seem like it particularly concerns you. Is that something we need to? I've seen something like that before, and it would just be nice to know what it does. It's clearly important here. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, I'm struggling to see the connection between the tree and the drow. Said she was bound to it, and from the fact that she was able to walk out, that seems. I. True enough. Yes, I understand that bit. I mean, what does a tree have to do with binding? What does this tree. What was she bound for? Why was she bound? How was she bound? What does the presence of other trees like this mean? Just a lot of questions that you might want to ask before setting something on fire. I shrug. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, does Zora have any input into that since it was Zora uh, that like, shot the tree like within seconds? <laughs> this is why you handle that sort of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, not setting on fire to things. I try. Uh, I try to. Pull it. Fire the things, of course. Fire seems to follow you, Captain. Mm. Can scoff for that. <laughs> <laughs> I named Zora Stone Well. <laughs> uh, well, Just, yeah. if anybody else comes across some information on suspicious trees. Please let me know. You will be at my first call. <laughs> Back on Spirit's tree. Oh god. I will try not to burn any more trees. That's so, appreciated, Captain. <laughs> without your permission. <laughs> <laughs> I like to leave all this laughings in character for Zora though, because it just makes Zora seem like a psychopath a bit. So. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Please don't. No. I'm a bit he's just a wet end, you know. It's just like I'm fed up with this. <laughs> Trapped in a weird <laughs> ass, hot, sweaty, time travelling vault. <laughs> Got my ass kicked by dragon people. Like, where is the golden woman? Is she dead? Probably. <laughs> SK, obviously. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she, uh. I, I wasn't actually in character, but I'm all right. actually say that. <laughs> Yeah, she yeah, we're, we're... really believe in Eskate's body here. It seems kind of dishonourable. I did not know that that was something of concern. Well, obviously, it's uh, not everyone has the same uh, uh, uh. Sure, I turn and walk away quickly. <laughs> <laughs> she at least deserved that. Decent burial. Please tell me you to suggest like a Viking funeral. I don't have anything against that. I don't know. I don't know what I've Just because it's fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, uh, oh dear. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be opposed to. Due to removing the the body, but. I mean, I don't know. It's not like. We really have her opinion on the matter. She she might she might not care. We'll take it. 
the ass since we let her out. We should ask. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Should we I mean, follow I the... Like we should be asking for permission. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You should we follow the uh, queen, I guess? I would nod. Start walking our direction. I'm walking in that direction. And I will follow. Please do so. Well, I mean, I say no, follow, but presumably you two are both moving the egg. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Right, well, on we go then. Eggy move. Sugar. Eh, eh. Eh. You know where the map is when you get closer. Okay, okay so I'm definitely way off with the map, so I need to find you guys again. Way off the map, way off the map. I wish there was a way I could make this particular browser faster. I'm going to be respectful and not loot any of the corpses. It's <laughs> overly respectful. Mm, yeah, I thought so. Uh, the weird thing about the corpses is they've all been like pushed to the sides, like out of the way, and um, whereas they were scattered as per the yeah. battle, and um, they've all been like slewed to the sides of the room. Um, Queenie doesn't like getting her feet dirty. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, yep, yep. there we go. <laughs> Behind you guys, so I'm gonna move to you there. Cause that would be <laughs> <laughs> I'll just dump Zig in the corridor. <laughs> per sec. I know. Just gonna move up to like each crossroad. There we go. Good, and let me try and get the map to follow because my god does it not like rendering this map on this browser. Again, if people at home have any solutions of how to solve running roll twenty twice while streaming, let me know. Or what to just Hi, to get, I was gonna say, yeah, if you want to be just my game butler, uh, that'd be great. Um We're now advertising for interns. Yeah. Unpaid, undervalued. It's for exposure. <laughs> um, <laughs> Undressed. Yeah, exposure. We're not your cast. Oh god. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you're looking for an alternative uh, controversial podcast to listen to, uh, that's us. Uh, brilliant. Please well, feel free group. To, um, to listen to any podcast you wish. And, uh, and oh, uh, within reason. Yeah. So yeah, you, I'm sure you, we can find some particularly unsavory ones. You start walking up the corridor back in our game, and you can <laughs> just see her standing there, kind of just like staring down the corridor. Are you lost? And she kind of turns, and she smiles, and she says, <clears throat> "Are there any more of your crew in the vault?" One. And she narrows her eyes. There is someone ahead. I uh, don't think that's our crew. How draconic do they look? And she says, I cannot see them, but I smell them. How draconic do they smell? <laughs> and she says, "Very." Uh, now, no. now, can we just pause here and let you know that she did resist saying, "On a scale of one to dragon," just so. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just letting you know that she didn't. She chose not to say that. I wanted her to, but you know, we had a chat about it before the session. She says, "I'm not doing it." Uh -huh. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> My character wouldn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, so she says, uh, very. Um, <sighs> I would 
tra- like train my gun in the corridor. Great, fantastic. Yep. Yeah, that's not that's not one of ours. Our walk through, our walk through is human, human raises an eyebrow, human cyborg. <laughs> what was she? <laughs> Uh, might be dead. Quite probably dead. I think, like, <laughs> the drow lady just stares at you and kind of like looks at it and she's like, Are you quite okay? Ah, oh, she wasn't really our friend. <laughs> <laughs> this Luke's looks at the captain. Yeah, and I think there's just a shot of, like, Zora in the middle with, like, the dry lady at one side and Nick's at the other side and they're just staring kind of like what the fuck (laughs) (laughs) Um. and then she says to the group how do you wish to handle introductions Uh, preferably not with fire yeah she has like an unmoving look on her face when you say that and she looks to Lyco to listen to what he said. He, uh, I suspect probably is the Black Dragon. He is not, not someone I would be eager to interfere with. What color do they smell of? <laughs> Can you tell that from smell? <laughs> Um, I've got a pretty good sense of smell, and I don't think I can smell calls. She smirks <laughs> and she says, Some things are even beyond me. It is not a large creature, however. And she like puts a hand to the wall, as if to kind of support herself. So maybe she's just going to wonder about the wall, so that makes sense. Yeah. Just really long <laughs> arms. Her ten feet arms that you never noticed. <laughs> <laughs> you thought they were sleeves. No. <laughs> could, could be in his human form. <sighs> What's that? Like? That must change how he smells, right? I don't know. Can you smell polymorph? And then I think she like kind of turns back to the group, and she says. So you have some magical talent about you, do you? Some training. Curious. Is it? And then she kind of narrows her eyes at you. And she goes to say something. And then it's as if something catches her attention very kind of briefly. Like she does that kind of very sharp, like, jilted kind of movement of her neck. And then... The creature is armed. And she kind of like nods towards Zora's like rifle. Doesn't sound like a body. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound like. <sighs> Are we to press on? Guess we should go find it. I'd agree. <sighs> Sig, how about you hang back with the egg? Okay, Captain. <laughs> Narratively compelling, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Plot appropriate. I absent mindedly scratch his ears as I walk back. <laughs> <laughs> they scratch you back. <laughs> you better be there when we get back. Oh, 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 I'm taking that away. No, no, don't don't, 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 don't phase it through the wall. If anything attacks you, nuke it. We're gonna just pop Zig here like this, like a proper commando. There we go. Big. So yeah, she just walks on down the corridor. Boop. Um, Fall. Cautiously. Yeah, and she's kind of like, again, she's like walking as if she's not particularly phased by it, if that makes sense. Like, she is literally walking like she owns the place. Um, Or at least renting the place, right? 
Uh, for like a 500 post year old teacher, I mean. It depends what age she was, because when she was put in here, right? Um, yeah. yeah, that's what I said, the plus part. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the plus is very ambiguous. <laughs> You're old plus. <laughs> um. <laughs> but yeah, and like she does that thing where she like puts her hand up as if you know, right here, and she's kind of you can, she's listening, her kind of head tilted towards the corridor, and she says, "The next chamber is empty, but it lies beyond that one, near the entrance." On you go then. Ladies first, of course. She's already, like, <laughs> she's already like bolted on. Anyway, like chair stops the set and walks on. Um, as you say that. So the sniper rifle, so I will bring up the rear. Move on, chaps. <laughs> Move it on. Bravely. <laughs> swiftly, swiftly, bravely. <laughs> Oh, imagine you just got her killed. That'd be so funny. Uh, It'd be uh, something. Yeah. We get that target off her right now. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no sniper or snipes. Uh, it's fine. Totally fine. See when you level up. <laughs> I feel we had this conversation. Are you supposed to get the stamina that you gained? I mean, yeah, I'll get like no. that. That seems right. Just like how uh, you can be healed and all that nonsense, and she's leveled up. So feel free to like put that back. And I mean, I don't know. Resolve points can be full. I don't care. Like, let's just reset all that <laughs> shit, right? That that seems fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lol joke. No, take a hundred damage. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't done it in the sheet. Sorry, one sec. Um, We're just gonna 64, 54. Right, and yeah. So, like, next, do you walk ahead, yeah? Just slightly. Yeah. And then realize she stopped. It walks you. Yeah, and then she, like, walks over to the wall to dodge your target lock. And then, uh, <laughs> she, uh, she leans on the wall again with one of her hands. And she says, Kind of like slightly breathy this time. Forgive me if I'm flagging behind. Please. I understand. It's been some time, I'm sure. Are you, and she looks between you, capable warriors? I like, think so, but hasn't proven true recently. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> I'm stare at the camp warm up those deception rules. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, so that was the cause. That was hard truth. Yeah, that yeah. was a hard truth. <laughs> yeah, like what is the reply to her? Sorry. Uh, I was kind of just sigh at that because he's not feeling like a capable warrior at the moment. Quite frankly. Because <laughs> mm. I can still adjust the camera because we're way off the group just now. So we've got to try and keep on top of that. For this is the problem with big maps. Just trying to actually get this goddamn browser to follow suit. Let's see. It's not just good, it's good enough. There we, mm -hmm. there we go. So, yeah, that's everything in shot now. So, what is the easier doing? Because she's just kind of resting. I'm going to advance just past her to the <sighs> corner. Yep. And she kind of points down towards the, the entranceway. And she says, Whatever it is, is in there. Okay, my gun is very much... Oh, sensor to Damn it. Do you want to try that again? Your gun's very much what? Ready! Kay. Like a train. Yes. Which is ready. <coughs> I... Is it maybe worth doing this in initiative order then, maybe? Okay. Maybe. Aye. I think so. Um, One initiative, I'll show you initiative! So before you roll, I'll clear the previous order. And then everybody can click on their tokens. Wow. Mm. 
That's that's some bad rolling. Usually when I'm first, it, it's bad things happen. Boom. Nice. I'm not first, thank God. See me rolling. I'm hating because it is quite bad. So she's gonna like advance up again and then lean on a wall. So where's she gonna go? She can go. How far can she go? Let's see. You go all the way up to the end of the corridor. Very, very swiftly. Like she's kind of moving faster than you think she should be able to. Or she goes out of sight that you just can't even see. Because she's dancing and making... <laughs> but, yep, next. So she's <laughs> just walked down the corridor away from you. You just been there. So we go in that way. That's where she went, yep. She mm. was. Did she not say the thing was in that direction? Nope. I just okay. heard the entrance. Uh, I assumed. It yeah. was an entrance. Ah. Uh, assumed. Yes. No, I'm not. Oh, wait, wait, oh, 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 I'm going way too fast. What am I doing? Yeah, wait, are you off to? Yeah, go back. It's not your go. Where are you off to? I'm like, we're, oh, we're, we're following, not, not, we're in combat. We're not doing the follow thing. No, I moved to there. I'm just measuring, I'm not moving. <laughs> Now it's Kevin. Yep. Yeah, right. Do it. So, yes. Like With one, one graviton. On <laughs> <laughs> a three. Doesn't happen often, but it does. Here we are. The, the game has changed everybody. <laughs> graviton! Dun 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 That's a click. Oh, oh, and then I'll do... Is this a standard or a... It's a move action. Are you activating your armor? Yes, I'll do this. Boop. <laughs> and then I will use my standard to move. Okay. So... Oh, 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 oh wait, I can go for it. Boop. That is me. La 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 go, la And la I can go, go 50, which is to where the cap is. Um, I can move further, I suppose, by using a run, can't I? Yes. But do I want to? Yes. No. Please, please tell me what's around the corner. No, I end my turn. Bastard. <laughs> Are you the fucking sniper? <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. I guess that makes me the tank. <laughs> I mean, yeah, right. Um, let's see. So yeah, it's back around to you. She um, she moves up to the wall, and she does say to you, like she like motions to you, uh, like to the group, and then she like kind of points in the door, but she's not saying anything. What's there? I think when you do that, she does that thing where both hands just drop by her side and like our so our shoulders slump a little bit, and she just looks at you, like. <sighs> Are you um, being serious right now? Can you roll a will save? <laughs> I roll a will save. Can I roll a will save? Twelve. She's telepathically teaching. Cool. You do get plus two to this. Yeah. Um, so but, fourteen. Yeah, you hear in your head. Very disappointedly, it's her voice, and she um, she says, "In fact, like I think there's a visual element to this as well. So like you kind of see her in front of you, even though you mm -hmm. can see like the blurred background where the focus is obviously on her right in front of you, but you can see her still against the wall at the back, and it's uh, almost as if like the telepathy manifests the visual elements as well." And she says, "The creature." is in there. I was trying to give us the element of surprise. If you can use telepathy. And then <laughs> she just again she closes her eyes and shakes her head and then she just kinda of like dissipates. She still just looks disappointed leaning against the wall. <laughs> I move up my thirty feet okay. to there. Cool. 
and I don't know. I don't know where I've put my combat tracker. <laughs> um, you might just have to make a new one. <laughs> yep, yep. So this door, this door. Yeah, she's there's kind of motioned into that room, and that that both those doors lead into the same room. Ah. Uh -huh. Let me have a quick look at my shenanigans. I will activate my energy shield. Okay, okay. Shenanigans. Okay. And that's my turn. Right, so we switch over to Z -Z -Z Zora. I will sprint to the door. Okay. Or run, whatever it is. Uh, wait. Let me actually find out where this door is. Like, is it this door they were talking about? Don't know. I mean, would you have seen it? If they were. I don't know. So. <laughs> uh, they both seem to be heading that way, though. Okay. I uh, will just run up there. Uh, I'm fairly sure that my movement covers it. It's like 60 feet. Cool. Yeah, I need to stop you there. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So, two seconds. <laughs> Let me just do this. And crap. Almost. Fucking actually genuinely was. <laughs> Uh, Twelve damage. You just hear this metallic kind of uh, expulsion noise. Um, Pong. Yeah. Boing. Sci fi noises. And then uh, you get smacked with like the equivalent of like railgun ball bearings or some shit, I guess. Uh, and I'll add this to the initiative, I guess. Where is the initiative button on this sheet? Because it is the tiniest button ever. Boop. There we go, I'll just bump it up there. Okay. There we are. Right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm obviously too free graviton, obviously. <gasps> obviously. Uh, and. Uh, and then you can stop like, I don't, the movement, don't it? I don't think it does officially stop it, so I think you just you get to go there then. I don't actually think that stops them, gives me any cover whatsoever, but that's fine. Um, um, oh, uh, over Yes. I'm just thinking my sniper rifle feat, I don't think it takes away the penalty, I just think it allows me to use the range. Mm -hmm. I need to check that. Okay. What's I think the... for the now, I'm going to assume it takes, doesn't What's take the away the penalty. Let me check. I can't remember the shit. Oh. Um, it's fast aim, I think. Deadly aim? No, fast aim, I think. Fast aim. Mm -hmm. oh, why Sorry, this PDF is fucking about. I don't know. It's not even going through the PDF. Um, I'd like, I've got Adobe installed. It isn't opening in Adobe, it's opening in Edge for some fucking which, reason. Um, which book is it from? That feat? I believe it's. It might be uh, Armory. Ah, oh, that's uh, what. It's edge. Unless it's. And it is a Star Finder. Okay, are we getting anything that says what Fast Edge is? Because. Oh, it's Dame. Oh, sorry. Dame, yeah. I, I wrote Fast Edge for some bizarre reason. Um, <laughs> let's see. Hmm. It's not packed loads. The hell, it really hasn't saved that. I did that, I had it in. Oh, so you've, just, you've just invented a feat. Like, let's face it. No, no, it's stay over there. Let's check. Right, so it's not an armory. Right, so it's not an armory, so I've got Packed Worlds in. So let me have a look at Packed Worlds for you. It doesn't look like it's in Packed Worlds. Not make this up. This is a real thing. It's not a feat, sorry, it's an operative exploit. Oh, oh, God. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Fast aim, exploit, there we go. <laughs> as long as you're not flat footed, off kilter, or off target when attacking with a sniper rifle, you use the range increment value listed with the sniper special property. Yeah, so it's not about the. Uh, yeah. The bo so I would still take the. Is it minus two or something? Oh. For what, sorry? 
for sniping. I, without actually aiming, I don't know that we've ever done it, so I don't remember what the value is. I have no idea. <laughs> this is a calling um, problem. This is a calling problem. So, Colin, you can work that out and we can let a... I'm going to move up, right? I'll move up, I'll use this turn to move Pump. up. And, uh... And uh, do nothing, because I can't do anything from this position anyway. So, that's my turn. Uh, don't you want to double move then? And get into a slightly better position? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, um, if you're worried about the reaction, he's already done it. Yeah, but then he can shoot next turn. Yeah, so... <laughs> it gets the turn before me. Let's see. Or rather, immediately after. Also, uh, was using a like readied action equivalent thing. And then, now, its turn has happened officially. So uh, like call it not. So I was just going to say, I can't find anything about uh, a penalty. The aim is just to let you use the long range. Yeah, but there definitely there is something. Is it maybe on the gun specifically then? Who knows? But um, toss that out anyway, and I'll. We'll out. find out. I feel like there was some sort of negative. Um, sorry, you're the only one that sees. So this is against you, buddy. <sighs> Lovely. Full attack. Pow pow. Uh, hit, hit. Nine. No wait. Hit miss. I'm 19. Has I got to get more than? That needs to match it. Match it? Yeah, hit then miss then, so. Damn it. This is against... I believe this is against Casey, so yeah. I mean, I'm 19, 19. Yeah, say. cool. That's, that's good. I appreciate that. <laughs> Makes it easier. For you. So I think, yeah, maybe like the, f the... like As you like run through, you slam into the wall after being like slugged by it the last round and then you obviously aren't quite tucked in enough as this other round like smacks into you and then you pull back a bit further and you obviously try and get out of the way of the other shot. Yeah. You just hear a kind of like a snarl and a snap of like a jaw and then I've got a next turn. I'm gonna take that gun and I'm gonna shove it through its mouth. So what are we seeing Captain? It's him again. It again. Is it the same one? Could I, could I visibly see it's the same one? I don't know, roll perception or some shit. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Falling perceptions. It's not directly in sniper it's rifles, it's the office. It's all have the Awful. We need yeah, to get these rolls. Uh, Can we just like, swap the carbon rolls? <laughs> like, like when I actually do well. <laughs> Those ridiculously good rules, yeah. yeah. No, like, even that's enough to know that um, this thing definitely is the same one. Is that again? Where is it? I would point its general direction. Like, well, my back is against the wall, if you know what I mean. <laughs> if I go through the other door, will I be close to it? Bad range, short range. Twenty feet, I guess. It's long gone twenty feet, but I don't know why I actually give you the right. Cool. Yep, I'm through, and I'm going to shoot him. Cool. Eleven. Back on track. You you see that? That was the wrong gun. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, that attack roll will miss regardless. Yeah. So. Um, is it all the same bonuses? Yeah, yeah. So that's I won't bother with rolling. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Uh, is this? Uh, that is my turn, I think. Okay, do um, um, which, double, double check. <coughs> Can you roll a perception check for me, though? Me? Yep. Yeah. Keep in mind, you still get inspiration. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I forgot that. Um, uh, you you spot <laughs> this skate. Yeah, 
like a trophy uh, next to skater it. Girl. She, she was a skater girl. Yeah, she said. She so, said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fantastic. Uh, he just wasn't good that. enough for her. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So, True. yeah. You walk in, Cannon tracks it, blasts the thing, like, you know, ducks down as it hears the blast, scores the wall at the back. Yeah. And then. We're I've come for her. This calls for another beer. What is it you say? I said, I've come for her. The thing, like, turns around and, like, regards you and, like, narrows its eyes and then just, like, starts, like, grimace a little. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that? And also for those at home that don't remember what this is. Dun dun! Only its skin is black because it's from Humani. That gun is horrible looking. Um, uh, it is. It is. And I will attempt to take it. <laughs> oh no, he's a big gravity boy. Uh, I will. Gravity search. Ooh. Basically, attack roll with a plus eight. Okay. What's the plus eight from? So four from this move, and four from that move, and four from a charisma modifier. Dear Christ. And then let's see if you disarm target with gravity surge, and have a hand free. The drop hand flies towards you, and you snatch it in the air. If you trip target. Right, search can pull it ten feet closer to you. Right, okay. So I guess roll with a plus eight. Okay. So, to the song. To make us hope. What is this against though? Uh a key see a measurement. I'll whatever. It's a trip maneuver. It's up to you. I mean I'm guessing I'm using cosmic energy. Forces, so I guess it'd be energy. Maybe? It doesn't actually say it anywhere. Like, during that. Why is like, what, does it this actually? Way? Is it a, a trip? Like, is it saying trip, maybe, actually? What's the combat? Well, it's a disarm, right? Yeah, disarm or trip, yeah, yeah. So, I wonder if it says... what are you doing? It's disarm, it's the disarm. I figured that much. So, is there a move called disarm? 244. Four. There is indeed actions in combat. Well, okay. Like, you're knocking know, item, the target's holding out the target sand and onto the ground if you have a hand free. Oh my god, that does not help. I'm assuming it's a melee, it'll be classed as a melee attack or whatever. I don't know. Let's see. I mean, I would default to KAC to be honest, but I, just, I wouldn't mind actually having an answer on that. Because why is this? The way it works. Right, so what's this? Let me look at action uh, combat. Combat maneuvers. As a standard action, you can, can attempt one of the following combat maneuvers. For each maneuver, choose an opponent within your reach, then make a melee attack roll against the opponent's KAC plus 8. Mm. So I'm basically an attack roll against you. Yeah, but so if you're doing that with your gravity powers, right, is that the same? I guess so. Like, because I guess it is uh, trying to get their gun out of their hand, so I guess it is that. Yeah. yeah, unless the gravity power says otherwise, yeah. Which I don't think it does, according to uh, according to Nico. Okay, cool. So, general a d20 plus 8. Please be good. It's not great. It still doesn't hit. I know it doesn't hit. I remember this guy. It does not. Yeah, we need to... What, like 26 or something? I can't, like I, I can't actually hit this guy. I'm forgetting about that. My guy's totally useless against this guy. I don't so even like, have the attack to even hit him ever. So like you go to like pull at his gun. Maybe like when he's looking at a... Uh, obviously... Nix 5 as he's walked in and been shot. And like the gun like goes to like... Surge out of his hand. And you see him like kind of grip it tighter. And kind of like... Snarl at you. Maybe there's like a, a narrative like step forward. As if bracing himself against this kind of like... Darth Vader rumble of the force. Um, so yeah, what does that look like? Inside does it? Uh, probably just dark aura. Tries and pulls it, nothing happens because he holds on to it. Mm -hmm. 
probably, like you said, the rumble. Mm. I feel like, I feel like gravity rumble. probably looks like nothing at all. <laughs> 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 probably, probably the most anticlimactic of powers. You probably hear a lot of creaking. Yeah. It's all, it's My like, gun's going in that direction a bit. <laughs> People's hair pulls that way, you know. Um, Righty-o. Like-o. Yay! So, I've read about what Unwieldy actually does. Prevents you for like attack. Yeah. That's yep. the thing we were talking about earlier. You know, we both uh, said yeah. that we thought there was something that meant we could never do a full attack. That's mm -hmm. what it is, because almost all of them, probably all of them, seem to be unwieldy. unwieldy. All of them, I can um, see. Yep. I seem to have invented the negative. <laughs> that seems to have been just my folly. Um, it's fine. The aim gives you the bonus range, and you can't like shoot twice anyway, so... Uh, but that was that was me being stupid. Uh, I have been using my weapon really inefficiently. Uh, I I swear to God, I read that somewhere, probably for some specific gun or something, and thought I applied to everything. I'm still pretty new at this, right? <laughs> this is only a few years into my RP lifetime. I've not been doing this since childhood. I've been doing this for like less than ten percent of my existence. So go easy, go easy, listener at home. Anyway, with that said. I'm going to shoot the dragon thing. Yep. The pseudo dragon. It's not a pseudo dragon. Why did that not press? There, there we go. Oh, that's going to be insufficient. Is that KC it's against? It will be, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not. It does not hit. <laughs> Oof. Damn. Mm. That's my turn. Dun dun dun. It is going to. <laughs> I think on reflex it's going to shoot Lyco then Nyx with its Nyx attack, right? So first one's on Lyco, second one's on Nyx. OUV, yeah. Fuck me! I mean, yeah, that hits. I mean, I feel like uh, Nyx got it worse, but yeah. Uh, wait a sec, what is this? What's this targeting? KAC. Then it doesn't hit me. Nice. Fuck it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I think I think it was. Um, yeah. Oculus 29. Yeah. Well, I, I have merely 50 stamina now. Um, <laughs> you know what? I think it'll be alright. Well, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming it's KAC if it's piercing damage, right? Even at real Yeah, yeah, that'll be so KAC. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. KC. I should write that. That's okay. I just, that's what I've been going with. So. Yeah. Good thing, though, right? My DPS is going to be like doubled because I'm not going to be shooting it. Reloading, shooting, reloading. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be shooting, reload, shooting, reload. <laughs> so, yep. So uh, theoretically, I should do some damage. So it just pretty much like reflexively thing. spots you, shoots you, swings round because it's fully aware there's you know two points of entry here, and it's shot at a uh, next as well. Um, but obviously, like, it, like obviously, just blasts off your armor and just like patangs away. Um, I said I'd ding. come to take her back. Again, again, that's narrow. And I guess maybe it's looking a wee bit more at you since it knows it's hit the two at that side. That's my turn. Uh, it is now your turn, yeah, because it's done its full attack. Uh, Combat tracking. Okay, okay. Hold the record. Mm -hmm. And then I shoot him. With the correct weapon this time. 17 against EAC. Uh, I don't believe that is a hit. Let me double check. I doubt it. Uh, it is not. Nope. But let the bad rolls begin. It's okay. You can serve ammo. Yep. <coughs> I can do this all day. Uh, that's you, yeah? Yep. Zora. If we can be tactical, okay. I think. It's probably wise to get a couple of us in close to distract it. Uh, I'm absolutely not getting close again. <laughs> <laughs> you can have fun with that. <laughs> I mean, I am more than willing to get in close with this thing for the sake of doing some damage to it, because I'm my, I'm thinking, right, even if I'm shooting more often, uh, we were hitting so infrequently that I, I can't help but think I three attacks per turn is more likely to do something eventually than one. Yeah, if you rely even on... Even if they are at minus three. 
So I think I have to go in and slice and dice. So I think I'll take like another shot as I walk towards it, drop my gun, and next turn I'll Wolverine it. Aren't you able to, as part of your move, put it away? You are, yeah. Oh yeah, so I am. Yeah. I'm trying to decide, am I better... Do we think his KAC is likely to be too higher than his EAC? Because I might be more likely to hit him by punching. Which isn't how I built this character, but... <laughs> it's how your armor is, I reckon. It is, yep. I might have to go in and wail on him as well. Mm -hmm. hmm. Sora, are you doing anything? Mm. Yeah, we will... We will, 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 will flare him. Uh, what did the... Dazzled for one round. Okay. So reflexes. Save. Cool. Against 18? Mm-hmm. Yep. No. Dazzled so, for one round. Right, so... Oh wait, dazzled for no round one. No save, actually. <laughs> it didn't even have a save. <laughs> Oh, what was the that, what was the the save for? Because I feel like we've done this before, and there's an augmented version that involves the save. Is that uh, the area of effect? It's the unaugmented. The unaugmented requires a save. The augmented version, the being fully attuned. Let's right. Just okay. Around, no save. Okay. Uh, cool. Nice. Yep. So that happens. A uh, and a dazzled for those at home. Okay, cool. Uh. Well, because that's a good question actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's essentially like stunned a thunder or something. Dazzled. Dazzled. You take minus one roll. Perception checks. Right, so you basically take minus one roll. I actually sort of just blinded him, to be honest. Eh, yeah, probably. But yeah. we live and we live. <laughs> Maybe. Hope not. <laughs> uh, yep, so you do that. And there's that. That's basically it. Yeah. That's all. Cool. Uh, so are you sharing light at the moment then? No. Just a flash. Just flashed. Flashbang. Yeah. Flabshang. Not using that part. Okay, okay. Uh, cool. Right, so I guess it's dazzled for a turn. Uh, Lyco. So, are we all done with my strategy of run at it? Sure. Okay, guess I'm going to take one shot and then move towards it. Yeah, it's not a difficult journey to make at all. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Cool. I think I, need, I think I need to do this. I think this is the only way because I need to rely on the weight of attacks to do damage here. So I stole my weapon and I approach it. This is probably ill-advised, but I've done it now. Yep. My turn over. Now, what's your action economy to get both blades out? Um, good point. Uh, I think I need to use standard. No. No, you can use it as so action because you've got a... Ah, uh, John, your move because you've got plus one bat. But then I've moved. <laughs> yeah, so you can... You can have shot, dropped your gun, and walked over and withdrew one of them as part of this move if you wanted to instead. Leaving your rifle yeah? in the hallway. Okay. Or in the doorway, yeah. Um, I don't mind that. Like, bang, drop, walk forward, blade. Um, and then yep. obviously next turn you can then move action, blade. And then that way you've got both of them out. Sound good? The thing is, it makes no difference, I think, here whether I just use the whole move action to remove the blade. But then I can't if I'm in... Which, uh, I've already placed myself there. What I mean is, to do a full attack, you don't, you can't use your move. Yeah. So, you've got a blade out for a full attack at the mm. moment. See what I mean? Do you need to be dual uh, I wielding? get a bonus for having... Yeah, yeah, I do. Cool. To get my, uh, to get the minus three rather than minus four. I mean, depends if it, you think it's worth it or not. So, as now... I think it is. You have... Got one blade out, we have no gun, our sniper at least is back there. Cool. We're all good with this? Yeah. Cool. 
this thing. So it's got a minus one this is to whatever it does, doesn't it? So let's see. Well, you're up in its face. So mm -hmm. it's going to. Yeah. I think it's going to switch weapons. Let's face it. Yep. Um, now we know how dangerous this thing is now, so let's let's go absolutely all out on it, please. So it's gonna put its gun away and then just bite you. Okay. I can bite. And that's its turn. Jesus. So yeah, I uh, I take twenty one. Um, mm -hmm. bringing me to 19 stamina ah. go I, can't feel, I feel like I've mucked something up somewhere I'm sorry I, 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 I've been looking at books in a order to try and understand my character better because clearly I've failed to grasp some core things about shooting it's moving this corner um, <laughs> a bit and uh, yeah, I mean, obviously we're we're not the combat heaviest, so I'll be a little lenient on myself. Um, right, yeah, um, that's not great, but I mean, I can take another couple. Next, uh, you're up. Yeah, yeah. Um. It's whether I go in for melee or not. Mm. You can full attack melee, can't you? Mm -hmm. Don't see why not. Yeah, sure. Then I will. Just can't move. You yeah, can't attack. move. Yeah, I was about to say you can't move in full attack. But I can do it next turn. Mm -hmm. yep. 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 And I should move in and start punching. I him. mean, yeah. My, my current plan is draw weapon, hit, do it next 30. turn. Does a 30 hit him? It does. For 5 damage. <laughs> that is disappointing. That's um, damage. B. Yeah. B. Strategic nice. talk. Mm -hmm. Can I just draw as a movement? Or do I have to move and draw? No, I can draw as a movement. No, so long as you've got move available to you, you can right, draw, okay. is how it works. It's to a, be honest. It's a bit like 5th head that way. Um, right. okay, good. Can good. I, so I, will, I will draw as my movement next. That, that, right, cool. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Actually, I have minus right. four to movement-based opportunity attacks, so I probably would have been alright anyway, but... Let me just double-check actually where would I have got to. Because that's in his reach, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, You'd still have hit so there. I, so I couldn't have run to... Yeah, it's just I, I would have had to take a guarded step to get to there. Uh, no. I think it's just if you leave his threat range. Uh, as if you move, a sp if you move a from a space within his range. Uh, no, you can have got there if you want to move. I don't mind so much with that. Okay. The, um, cool. I feel like while he's um, dazzled, that's fine because technically Lyco would also have been subject to that as well. Yeah. And remember, he he uh, has interesting reach rules. Um, yeah. Right. Let me go and adjust his health first. Cool. Uh, right. Uh, although I do love the idea of just next running up and just punching. Um, <laughs> just jump up the ledge. Yep. So we're about to be in pretty useless because that actually couldn't even hit him ever. Yeah, you can crit him. Crit him. Right. Yeah. Five percent chance. Just go full attack, crazy. Five percent. Well, you need to do something <laughs> better than what you've got, yeah. You need, you need to not have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can just keep on grabbing this option and hope for the best. Right, right at this very second, he's not holding anything. I can just trap him. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can't much well on. See, see if I tripped and dragged. Actually, does he does he provoke yeah. attacks opportunity? Nah, That's a question. It's unlikely. Like forced moving, it just usually movement. never does. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of fifth head thinking right enough, but I, f I feel like it would be similar. Okay. 
Mm. It does say in black hole it doesn't. But in gravity surge it doesn't say anything. Uh, what does it say in black hole, sorry? Black hole it says blah 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 blah. Right. Uh, God damn it. Thank you. There's nothing about them having to be willing actually moving out this way. Right. Uh, and if one spell specifies, then that would suggest it's an exception to the rule. When you threaten that space and the opponent moves out of that space in any way other than a guarded step or withdraw action. Interesting. That seems pretty clear cut. Black, yeah. Thing, uh, after you use this, blah blah blah, black hole. Oh, it's here somewhere. See here. Black. Right, there we go. Uh, I saw uh, blah, blah, blah. creatures moved by this ability do not provoke attacks of opportunity from this movement. That's what it says in black hole and gravity yeah. subject doesn't say a thing. There you go. Two seconds is. Movement in position. Yeah, let's have a quick scan of this. Yeah, I think if, if it's yeah, yeah if you it's freeze like that. You could be very right. Yeah. Hey, uh, let's see. There is probably nothing, nothing of use in this. Reach and threaten squares. Let's see. Uh, an enemy that takes certain actions while in a square threatens to provoke attack fortunately. Let's see. You threaten all squares into which you can make a melee attack, even when it's not your turn. The exception is unarmed strikes. If you're making unarmed strikes, you don't threaten other squares. Uh, generally, that means you threaten all squares adjacent to your space, including diagonally, blah 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 blah. Yeah, it doesn't actually say anything about like, force movement or anything, does it? No. It's probably near the poison rules, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm good with that then. Yeah, if that works, that works. I mean, I'm going to try and trap him anyway, regardless, but I was just thinking if I could pull some cheese in there as well, you know. Uh, yeah, that's... Which I'm going to try. So, to trap. Uh, Strategy. Slash R, or slash 1d20 plus 8. That's not good enough. No. Bad rolls, bad rolls. It would be a good idea if I could actually hit anything. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. That, that's what that move can hit something though, I'm just going to tell you that now. Okay. So, there you go. Um, so at least there's something that I can try. Yeah. <laughs> and this battle. Okay. Yeah, drag SK's body away. I mean, I could just grab it and hold SK's body right Did now. Did it drop its gun? No, I put it away. No. And bit you. I remember that part. It's why it didn't pull out its dragon glaive and slice at you. Yeah, because I had to use that to steal the gut. Yep. I see. Yep. But its face is always equipped, so. Uh, How inconsiderate, uh, frankly. If that's Zora, I believe it's Lyco. Lyco, 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 Lyco. He draws his other. Wow, draws. <laughs> he, 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 he snicks his other blade out, and, uh, and I will make one attack with the. One of the bleeds. Oh my lord. Yeah, that's not a hit. No. And that's my turn. Uh, it is no longer dazzled, I believe. And Did you full attack? Oh, no, 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 you didn't need You had to take a moment. No, I had to. Well, oh, yeah, my full attack, I should say. I don't know how we code this. My full attack is now three attacks. Yeah, you can just. You can, you can just roll. Three attacks and then take three off them, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the easiest sense. way to do it instead of trying to do half jank maths. Um, you can probably code in a triple one if you really want to. I think sure it's that's quite what. easy. I'm trying to see it right now. It's okay, I'm going to take my turn anyway because it pulls out its dragon glaive. Let's face it. Bastard. Yeah, I know. And I mean, it's going to go for Nyx because Nyx is the one that actually hurt it. Um, <laughs> Yes. Whoop -wah. Whoop -wah. And this is probably against EAC. Uh, slashing at Andy Electricity. Uh, oh wait, does that not, doesn't that default to KAC? I think it defaults to KAC, let me double check, we have discussed this before. I 
<laughs> before that, see people that watch this in, sequ like, in sequence right like maybe if somebody marathon through this show you think why did they never remember the rules and then if they check the dates sometimes it's months between sessions <laughs> 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 just to stop all those angry comments oh I didn't stick it in an RFAQ oh, oh well mm. well I appreciate it uh, armor ESC and get ESC I feel like that is the way it goes. I'm sure it defaults to KAC. I think it defaults to KAC. Um, I genuinely can't remember. That's... That. Any of you guys remember? I don't. I, I would generally trust Alex's judgement. That's why I remember. Uh... Out the android. Mm. When an opponent's attack would deal only energy damage, his attack will result as compared against EAC, all other cases, KAC. Yeah, yep, cool. cool. There we go. Then it doesn't hit. Excellent. As I continue to look him in the eye. Yeah, so like swings down and maybe like lands <laughs> the like the, the axe as it like smashes into like the weird almost metal, almost fleshy floor, and the sparks of electricity like crawl over the floor and then it just looks up and it's the axe is between you and SK's body. And it kind of just looks at you and snarls and says, and like the most horrible space common, and it says, mine. I respond, no. I respond in draconic, mine. And it just like, and then punch him. It like huffs. Yeah, I'll tell you two seconds, let's just so cool all the way back. Whee! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I Full of tank punching time. Cool. Does either of those yet? No. Damn. So yeah, maybe like you just double fist in and it just like pulls up its axe to like knock you off balance slightly. This is getting awesome though. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, That's my turn. Yeah, this, this was definitely a power up music moment there. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see my power armor really paying off. I mean, you hit yeah. it. So. Yeah. Uh, right, so I will step here on top of the body. Sorry about this, buddy. Um, I'll move that body out of the way. Unless you were using that tactically. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, and then I will say, no, mine. And. <laughs> and I'll pull Eskate's body. Right, I'll use it. Oh, this is so horrible. I'll use it objects. Um, it's the last part fully attuned. Standard action, concentrate, maintain, blah, blah, blah. you can target, attempt a new save. Blah, 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 blah. There's somewhere that says you can dare us to be junk creatures. It says here, where are we here? Right. Okay, so let me quickly yeah, yeah. find no, the, So when you're fully attuned, you can use it to a uh, ability gravity hold, immobilize, lift or move a medium or smaller creature. Yep, uh, can attempt the fortune save to negate it. I don't think she's going to make that save. Well, under this <laughs> effect, the dark creature cannot move, but can take any normal actions. Blah 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 blah. Uh, it, I'm going to let it work anyway because it technically she doesn't count as a creature at this point. But yeah, it's it's fine. It can happen. Wow, so dehumanizing. Yeah, rule mechanics. Death will do that to you. So, yeah, like you kind of just starts to. Float. Would you? What route would you like her to take? How far? <sighs> how far can you move her? Uh, so that's what I'm trying. To can you hit now. the dragon? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh no! Please no! <laughs> As you just hear in this horrible feminine vesk like accent, is it? I've come back from the dead. Slowly bumps the puppet <laughs> into <laughs> the dragon king. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Objects out of distance, so I spell psychokinetic hand, so now we need to flipping book jump the psychokinetic hand. I mean, you should just know all this instinctively, right? I, I, I should, I should, but I've never actually... To be fair, right, the worst thing was a radiate. No offence, Callum, but it was the worst thing ever. Well, I've stuck psychokinetic hand in the chat. Look at that. 25 feet plus 5 feet every two levels, so I can basically, like... Uh, no, that's the range. As a move action, you can propel the object as far as 15 feet in any direction. Okay, okay. Oh, so. I can propel 15 feet in any direction. God damn it, that means I can't actually even do this. You can get her out of there. 
Yeah, I'll push her. I'll push her. Yeah, that direction. You want Probably. that that exact movement? Is that what you want? Exact movement. Towards the door. Towards the door. The other door. So, onto the body pile. Yeah. Okay. Dump. Wish she gets a soft ending. Oh, a landing. I'll move. Yeah. I'll move that out of the way. The dead body. Yeah, and I think like we have this shot from the the hallway where the the drow lady is standing with like her back up against the doorway and she just sees this like woman's corpse just start rolling over the floor as it gets like propelled over there by like telekinesis and you just have this kind of head cant and then we click back into the room uh zora is that yeah everything yep. or yep. Hold on. La -la 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 Will um, fill attack three times minus three every yeah, attack. Yeah, so I'm gonna just write it out for the sake of the records. <laughs> fill attack, rolling, rolling norm. Rolling, attack. rolling, rolling. Thrice with an <laughs> with with a minus three mod. Applied mentally with brains <laughs> after. God. Um. I mean, I could roll it with it, but I'm not That's going fine. to just because I've written that now. Uh, and I just forgot how things work for a second there. It's okay. How do you add in the mod again? Um, yeah. Slash all the. Ugh, I'm just rolling it through the button. And... Flails wildly! And gets... 24... 18, the last one hits. Yay! On a 24. No, 25. 27. No, 20, 25, sorry. Yeah. 25, oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, I might bring this. Yep, so the last one hits. So, I'll nice! Nice! So, I think what it does is obviously it's obviously like knocked up Alec like sorry Nick's five's arms as he's went to like punch into him and then you've just went stab 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 and obviously he's went to try and block with his glaive and some spinny fancy over acted Jedi maneuver and then he knocks like two of the strikes away but then you like get the third strike in and it like obviously cuts into his like you know side or something. And does this is very damage. thematically fitting, considering I'm basically relying on sheer volume of inaccurate attacks to take him down. Yeah, it's like I will go <laughs> for any ex one would hit. Yeah, like any exposed area is good enough, quite frankly. Um, Just swinging wildly, right? That's on, my turn. But I like the idea of like stab, clunk, too hard skin. Stab, clunk, too hard skin. Stab in, good soft skin. <laughs> uh, uh, the soft underbelly of the dragon. Cool. Problem is, though, it was unhappy with this. Oh, well, fuck it. And uh, it is going to work out how this attack works. Give me a second. Hmm. Okay. Now I need to learn something that I didn't know I had to learn, and if it's worth doing. Oh no, he's going to irradiate us. I, oh god, no. Imagine. <laughs> All the people. Uh, right, I see. I want this word. And I'm hoping it gives me. Oh, thank fuck. You may see that I'm a dreamer. <laughs> but I'm not the only one. But here you are. <laughs> oh, now entertain us. Right, so that is. quite tasty. Uh, how. How do I put that into here? So... There... And then... Yeah... Right, so it's gonna... Remind me on the action economy here, guys. So a guarded step is just your whole move, right? That makes sense. Move. I think so, yeah. Yeah, and it turns your move into a five foot step. Right, so I think it's gonna. Guard a step there. And then I need to draw. So. If I 
pick this point here and then go from there to 5, 10, 15, it's chosen 20, to move away from 25, me, has it? 35, and then let's It's going to try and hit all of us, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think I can. I need to draw this cone as per the book. I know what I'm doing. There, and then two down, and then technically one over, down, and then all the way back there. Right, so I'm going to trick attack this thing to get back in range. So after that's this there, so it only hits you two maybe, right? And it's a thirty foot cone. It's the weirdest shaped cone ever. Um, that is what it looked like in the book. Um, yeah, because it kind of hit partial. <laughs> yeah, all those words. And then. That. Reflex save. Yeah. Okay, is this six? Me. Is meeting it? Yeah, meeting it's fine. Ah, oh, cool. Uh, it's a good thing I have a clock then. <laughs> nice. Right, now I need to learn what. If any, the other effects are. Give me <laughs> one moment, please, because this book is not not easy. Good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Thank God I'm fast. Is all I can see. We are jumpy boys. Right. Blah 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 blah. Wait. So he moved out of range. He guarded stepped. Oh, okay, got it set. Yep. Uh, oh, I was paying attention. It's okay. I just I, I made sure to cover myself in that regard because yep. yeah. Uh, right. Okay. So, uh, DC sixteen for half damage. Right. This is going to mm -hmm. be fire damage, as we could probably all have a assumed. Yes. And mm. let's see here. It is Fundaba. So. Let's take this in. Forward slash R space. These might dice. This is going to make me sad. Uh, let's see. Will it make you sad? Will it make you sad? Have I typed all this incorrect and not just messed it up? Uh -huh. Yes. Boom. You take half of that. 28. 14. 14. 14. Uh, subtract 8 because I've got damage resistance, which I've never got to use before. Is that for fire? I am yeah. but 5 oh, yep. nice, nice Just for fire. I um, kind of wish I was stoning in that because I've just been like, ah, oh, ha, 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 what is this? Uh, <laughs> what is this? So I, so 14 minus 8. So, like so I. Back, huffs a big breath of fire at you guys, fills the room, torches some corpses, etc. Um, they're probably all still on fire, to be honest. You've damaged half my shield. How oh, dare you! I know, right? I love the idea of like <laughs> you're just in the shield and it's just shimmering as the flames wash over you. That's a cool. This scene. is a badass cutscene. Yeah, and then I'm gonna get rid of this horrible, horrible cone. Uh, Okie okay. So, uh, that is its turn, and then when the flames dissipate, you're both still standing there. I love the idea that you're standing there, pristine in this shimmering shield, <laughs> and then Lyco's there, and it's just a cough. As like some of the suit goes off his face, <laughs> um, but it's next. Let's go. Oh, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> take that uh, through your armor. Take, take that damage. Is this is this uh, Iron Man three? You just lock him in your armor and detonate it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> damage is obviously the value of it, so yeah, we win. Uh, <laughs> uh, obviously. He's actually a ninja uh, armor damage. Sorry. <laughs> will attack my punch on his face. This guy's broken. Just mainly <laughs> what off target does again, guys, just for a... No. Oh. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think they both miss. I do. If it's KC, they both miss. Uh, yes. Uh, your battle concentration is thrown off. Take a minus two to penalty attacks while off target. Uh, minus two to attack rolls. Okay. Off target. What's that for? Is that what you're trying to do to him? Yeah. No, uh, that's whatever Colin's that's doing. That's what I'm going to try and yeah. do to Well, either that or... Well, 
it's up to you guys. What do you think would be better? Minus two for to his attacks or plus two or minus two to his ch chances to defend against ours? You know? Minus two to his chances to defend. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so how are yep. we doing this then, right? Let's have a conversation about movement. Are we doing it where if we're not guarding step within reach, we are reading it as it seems to be written? Yep. Cool. Yep. Cool. Yeah, let's go with that. I just wanted to clarify that because we were a bit vague before when I was like, yeah, let's just ignore that for the first part. Cool. Uh, right, so, uh, Nyx, that was you for a full attack. We have moved on to Zara. Zara, Zara. Okay, Zara, Zara. Zara, Zara. <laughs> Zara. <laughs> I mean, I guess I just try and gravity surge him again and hope for that sweet, sweet 20, you know. Well, you might get another, <laughs> you'll get a second dragon glaive. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you uh, in range? Um, yeah. Thirty feet. Just Thirty feet. nice. Uh, blah, blah, blah. doink. Nice. And I just I, I love the idea that you're just still there, like the Yoda concentration face with your hands outstretched. Like I'll get you eventually. The rumble just keeps getting louder and louder. <laughs> so everybody else is having this battle where there's punching and electric glaives and knives and blades and such, and then you're still like. Ah. <laughs> the fire Rumble. all gets pulled down to the ground before it hits you because of all the gravity. <laughs> Rumble, come on, be good. Ah, fuck you, game. Fuck <laughs> you, game. <laughs> 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 uh, I got rolled like about three seventeens in a row or something with that move. Uh, like, the fuck is it here? Um, anything else? No. Okay. Uh, right. Lululaiko. Okay, so yeah, I will I will incur uh, an attack of opportunity during this. You can just step sure. forward. Uh, no, I couldn't. Oh, because I have to full attack to trick attack. Okay. So I get now this. You would agree this is a movement induced attack of opportunity, right? Uh, yeah, because you're moving to it, right? Okay, so he is at minus four to hit me for the attack of opportunity. Cool. Yep. I always forget that I have that! Oh, <laughs> um, sneaky boy. Do you want to type that in? So like, minus 4 to so, yeah. AOE or whatever? Let me, I'll, you know what, I'll try and copy paste the source of it. Do, 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 do. I had... Oh shit! I forgot I have evasion as well! Which is? I have 8 more H... Eight, eight oh, more you don't take the half damage? Oh. Yeah, I don't take the half damage. Um, Excellent, so you've got 14 more HP then, no? 14, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would take the, yeah, I'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Or, not HP, but stamina. Take it, yeah. Um, so that's good. Uh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, let me just see. <laughs> Reading. I, had... <laughs> so I always forget my fucking. Right, yes. mobility, it's from mobility, right? Nice little copy there. Um, so, I will incur. Do you want to resolve the attack once, but, you know, once I announce that I'm doing this, or before I, or after I roll it, or what? Um, yeah, so you would you need to move to initiate right. it, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you do that. I'll do my bit. Um, okay. If you're only moving five feet, can't you just go to step it? No, yeah, I think it's the, the attack. Yeah, because the move's part of it, right? So. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like a. Uh, know, it's, yeah. a it's a Christmas. It's, not full, it's, it's a full action. It's, it's my trick attack, basically. Yep, I have okay. to use all my action. No, I didn't realize that. So. Do you want to pop it in chat just so that you can have a nose at it while we're here? Right. True. Attack on. No, I mean the actual Dark move. Frog. Trick attack, oh god. <laughs> Do you think, you think I have the text of that in the thing? It's long. Mm. I just, if it's a full action, like, how is if the move is part of it, sure? Do you see what I mean? Uh, it is. I mean, like, so, so, so. You can move up to your speed. Yeah, perfect. That's it. Whether or Good not enough. you move, then make an attack. So, oh fuck. Hi. So I take 21. Okay. Oof. I am on 52 health. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, so. I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use my. Sleight of hand. Slight. Oop, misspelled. Mm -hmm. Of hand roll is for trick. Attack. 
And this is a plus four. I'm rolling against creatures uh, combat rate, or not combat, challenge rating plus 20. So that plus four, vi oh, fuck, I've rolled it. So it's 18 plus what? Plus four, so it's not a hit. Cool. But the attack could still be a hit. So I roll the attack. <laughs> um, perfectly standard attack. Okay, okay. And that is a hit. God, I wish that had been it. Because I get plus 48 now on my trick attacks. So that attack's just me putting in nine damage to him, right? There's no other yeah. effects. Cool. Yeah, I have no bo I, As far as we we agreed that if you don't succeed on the trick, you don't get the bonus damage either. Although the wording's a bit ambiguous. No, I think we did agree on that. Yeah, like it, it seemed to make it sense. Seems to me, it makes no sense, right? Yeah, because I less feel like the trick is the why you're. It's like, almost like getting the sneak attack damage as a rogue, yes. right? It's the same idea. If you didn't get the circumstances, you don't get the. Yeah, if it, I feel that makes sense. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, then I actually did some damage again. That's nice. I did nicely done. Those bone blades, man, God, they're so cool. They uh, are nice. <laughs> the general yeah. agree. So it's got two friendos in front of it. I need to roll a d4 for no reason. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and then, God, what's it going to do? It's probably going to full attack again. First against Lyco, second against uh, next five. That seems to make sense. And where is the button? Boom. Boom. Oh my god. First against me. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> well, it misses. Next. Joke on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're really like. Able to just not give a fuck about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm in 29 health. I'm gonna I could quite easily die next turn. Maybe feel free to with Joe. Yeah, yeah, you should probably get out of there and let the fucking tank do the business. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, mm. so so we go slightly more cinematic camera angle on this, and we follow the camera from the hallway as the drow lady walks in and just kind of looks at the situation, looks at how like burnt the floor is, the body corpses, kind of like stands next to S. Kate's corpse and kind of like leans down and kind of regards the corpse, kind of stands back up, looks up at the ongoing clusterfuck, quite frankly, over there, uh, and then just waves her hand at the uh, general direction of the, what do you call it, the creature itself. And uh, she or something. Maybe only. In fact, can Zora even see that? Can you see the queen from where you are, Zora? I can see. A, I can see a touch of her. Yeah, then you can see her. Um, you see her starting to mutter something, and then a. Uh, boom. And that cuts the dragon kin in half, as it opens. <laughs> well. Well, it would have been nice if you like done that earlier. Uh, uh, sure. So, f <laughs> just, just half of it slops in front of you guys. And yeah. And then she just, again, regards the, the body. And then starts stepping up. And then she looks at you, Lyco, and can you describe how you look? Probably pretty battered and bloody. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what colour my blood is. I was going to say, plus, I guess maybe you'd be cauterised a bit if it's slashing in electricity, right? Yeah. I probably, my hair's, you know, I, I think his hair's quite hard to control at the best of times, so it's an absolute mess. I like to believe there's um, maybe the occasional little spark of electricity between parts of it then. <laughs> you know, plus, I, plus I'd have my two stabbers out, so I'd probably look a little, uh... Mm. <laughs> and, uh psychotic. Sinister. And I think she kind of like raises an eyebrow at you, um, and she says, "Nothing to do with the Yoxians, huh?" And then she smirks, and then she like touches you, and she heals you for 
I think it's 2d6 plus 9, if you want to just roll that. Okay, right. And some weird light. <laughs> uh. I think I rolled properly for a change. That's um, nice. That's a good roll. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Bad, yeah. 19. Huzzah. So we'll go to 38. Which is substantially better than 20. Yeah. No, not 20. What was it? 19. No, wait. Have I? I think you've done this wrong, right? What was I at? 29. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm, I am completely out of it brain wise. This is stupid. I am in 48. Yeah. And then, like, maybe we see some of like the damage just slowly kind of knit back up. And it's um, very I'm cold. Less, right? Like, this is a very cold effect. It's like um, going from, like, a, say, a hot bath to snow. That level okay. of sharp cold. Um, as things start to like knit back together and such, or undo burns, um, and yeah, she kind of uh, looks at everyone. She goes, "Are we ready to leave?" I deactivate my uh, force shield. Yeah, I withdraw shield. my stabber mm -hmm. I go and pick up SK. Excellent. And then she uh, motions to the big giant golden door. And she says to everyone, as you are starting to approach, It seems you were telling the truth. I wouldn't have been able to open the doorway if my sister was alive. Please. Lucky ass. <laughs> and she kind of, she gives you a look. That uh, yeah, you can read into <laughs> if you wish, and uh, she turns back and she says, "Please," and gestures to the door. A bit nod. Come, Zig. Tell him the coast is clear. Nah, it's, it's fine. Zig's narratively here. We're not going <laughs> to <laughs> narratively. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In cures himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I, I, I'll not only nod an acknowledgement, but I will, I will, uh, I will say, uh, thank you for the assistance. And she's, um, you can see that she's kind of like rubbing her thumb against like her fingertips, um, kind of absentmindedly in front of her kind of chest, um, and she just kind of looks up as if you've kind of caught her attention. And she smiles and she says, "As I said, I do not know if you can comprehend." What this means to me. And you just see her look at the doorway and we get that shot of her eyes and it's just this big golden door in the reflection yeah. of them. Um, and she says to you guys, forgive me if I wish to savour this moment. And she motions to the door. Nod again and head towards it regardless of whatever. Oh, I, I narratively have excused my gun back onto my back. <laughs> What you mean is, you go... Zeg has done it on his way back. <laughs> you go to walk through, go, oh, oh, n quickly nip over, pick up your gun, sling it on your back, run back over. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Narratively. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As is the way. And, uh, yeah, so, do you head through? Yes. Cool. So, bloop. Zara, what's the plan? I would walk past, give it a nod. Mm -hmm. Accepting nod. Mm -hmm. okay. those Obviously, like uh, nod. SK is there as well with you, buddy. Uh, and then you head through. Like down at the, the dragon, get mm -hmm. a kick, because like, yeah, yeah, yeah. screw that guy. Slop. Like, <laughs> screw that. Slops a bit. Would you say you did that narratively? <laughs> uh, yeah, screw, screw that guy. Like. <laughs> narratively. narratively. Yeah. Cool. Screw that guy. And then, uh, yeah, so you, you just head through the big kind of white wall door. And I think as you go well, to the like, chop him in half. As you I go did he's gone. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's I mean you've stepped through the door now, I'm sorry, buddy. I know, I mean I I am assuming it was chopped in half. Uh, it chopped in half already. I mean, you could have looked through the slush, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you go to take a step forward next five and she puts a hand like on your like your art like kinda of, but the bicep of like your armor. 
and mm-hmm. to like kind of stop you. And she says, and she kind of like looks at you. Um, do you kind of look at her, or like what's your kind of body language? Is your kind of like holding escape? Just standing, looking forward. She says, "You don't remember me, do you?" Should I? And she kind of she's like staring intensely at you. Um, As I look down to her, uh-huh. I'm actually just looking down. What height are you? Uh, in my armor, probably about eight feet. Imagine. Yeah, if you're eight feet, yes. <laughs> um, stupid power armor. And then, yeah, because yeah. I'm like almost seven feet normally. Mm-hmm. And she uh, <laughs> praise the Omnissiah. <laughs> slowly, like walking giant robot god Messiah man. He who walks among us. He who cannot be touched. Calculator of rules. <laughs> um. Yeah, so uh, she's kind of looking up at you then, and she, uh, I guess it's your forearm and not your bicep then, because that's a weird yeah. image if it's your bicep. And then um, she says, you used to know me. In a previous life. And she kind of looks at you slightly, like, dismissively, and she says, we only have one life. It just is... And she kind of like looks back to the carnage of the back of the room, away from the door, and she goes, It's partitioned at times. Punctuated. She smiles. She kind of like taps your arm a little bit, and she says, Please, give me a moment to relish this. And she motions to the door. Yeah, I go ahead and walk through with this kind. Cool. Yeah, and you head through. Uh, yeah. And then we have this kind of lingering shot, and it does that kind of like random angle of the room, looking back at her. And you just kind of see her like roll her shoulders back, like click her neck, and then she just uh, she says, "Fuck you, sister," and then <laughs> she just walks through the gate. And then we just have this shot of the gate lingering in the in the dark, dark room, and then it just the light just snaps shut. And uh, I mean, it's more dramatic to end there, right? So I think <laughs> yeah. we end on that shot, um, which I like. Uh, yeah. So that is the session. Uh, let us move ourselves to the wonderful main screen. Dun 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 dun. And I'll fix the viewer position. And I'll get rid of the turn order. What I need to start doing is clearing the turn order when I go and close it. But I just don't do that. So, joys. Uh, there we go. That's it being fixed. Good, good, good. Uh, right, so let's name this session. What are the thoughts? Um, game of two halves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll add it into the chat. So round two. <laughs> game of uh, two halves. Right, well, Can't touch this. <laughs> I mean, see, I uh, like mine because it's the double meaning. <laughs> I mean, the combat definitely went slightly better, right? Um, but yeah, about that, maybe but this whole yeah. trying to kill him anything needs a wee bit of work. Is all I'm saying. I don't um, know what you're talking about. I'm ready for it. Yeah, just punching them. I'd, I just think <laughs> it's a big God. enough weapon. Yeah. I've developed a more sophisticated plan. Yeah. Yeah. Punch him to death. <laughs> Couple of levels time, I'm going to be able to get the next mark of stabbers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Well, not necessarily be able. That'll be the point at which they become this appropriate. Yeah, they might just evolve naturally into yeah. better blades. We might even have better guns. Better, you know. But I would say we need some sort of edge beyond that. Person. I would like to offer myself up as an advertisement for buying up-to-date armor. Uh, I would like to uh, <laughs> offer up next to make me some better stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would like yeah. pina colada. Okay. Okay. I need so let's all of the modifications. Okay, so let's move back to the naming of the game. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, all of the modifications. That's the name of the game. <laughs> so all the mods. You burnt game of two halves. So. You burnt a tree. That's a thing. Uh, 
Hmm. Is there something in that? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, ooh. Um. <sighs> There's something almost there. Um, you know, the tiger, 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 burning bright in the forest of the night. I'm thinking, burning bright forest of the night. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we could do something like uh, dark elves, forest of the night. Yep. With yeah, you. that's yeah. yeah, yeah you mm -hmm. see my thinking. Yeah. Um, um. I mean, out of the night forest is a very poetic name. It's a bit flurry though, right? It's this <laughs> very flurry. It's um, <laughs> super flurry. Uh, what else have we got? Right, so we've got um. Mm. It's not my <laughs> vault. I <laughs> like <laughs> oh, that one. Um, it's not my fault. I, I feel like if I put "fuck you, sister," it's maybe a bad title for the session, <laughs> even though it's like the last words to it. Um, but yeah, because I mean that must be shit, right? Being locked up for five hundred plus years, potentially horrible. Um, Imprisoned for five hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> I am my scars. <laughs> um, right, okay, so we had a wee bit of battle, uh, the rolling of the egg, because obviously Zig came with the egg and pushed it through the door <laughs> as well. Um, hmm. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What's something about getting out of the vault, or freedom, or exiting, or release, you know, something akin to that. I'm sure there's something we could do with that, because she's kind of no longer imprisoned, right? Because she's, like, unbound her, right? Vault, uh. vault unbound. There's my other suggestion. Um, so if there's any more suggestions, cool. If not, start voting. I, I don't know. I don't have any. I know, it's, it's yeah, a, a tricky a one. one. I think that's the trick when it's tricky when you've got slightly shorter sessions, right? Because um, mm -hmm. obviously there's there's sometimes slightly more one noted because this was mostly have a chat with her, decide to burn the tree. Um, yeah, another <laughs> another branch, I guess, is a good one. Um. Uh, or. Fallen from the tree. Far from the tree! <laughs> oh! I wrote far <laughs> from tea tree and that's fine. Oh, oh. <laughs> far from tea tree! Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I guess that kind of does make sense, you know, right? Because, like, sister is a bitch, you know, apple uh, fell far from the tree, you know, uh, like, like. Yeah. <laughs> I do, sure. <laughs> You're welcome for uh. the inspiration. Um, so I mean, yes, that's true. That's very true. Far from the tree seems to be winning so far since we made the most noises at it. Far it's from the too tree. long, but the best time to burn a tree was 500 years ago. <laughs> Second best time is today. <laughs> the best time. <laughs> um, yeah, like, so the best time to burn a tree was... <laughs> 500 years ago. What's that? But the second best? <laughs> the second best time is today. Second I think that's how the Greek proverb goes, right? Is today? Yes. Or was today? Yeah. Is, is today. Is today. There's it abbreviated. Yep. <laughs> Might I suggest a uh, subtitle? <laughs> Election special. <laughs> oh dear. Just, just so that people look at it and go, what? So you voted for Fallen from the Tree? Do you prefer that? I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Damn. Right, okay. Damn it. You've caught me. You've caught me in my own... TBT, catch. but with a... Uh, it's a bit... bit Far from the thinking <laughs> of them. Um, right, cool. Oh, uh, God, it's like, it's, like, it's like a pretentious <laughs> album. I'm going to say, you know, like a... Oh, what's the names? T Dagram. So, is this going to be another suggestion here? Nicole? You know, you know T Dagram. Uh, oh, I don't even know. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I don't even know. Oh. That. That, the only other thing I could think is it'll look first burn later or something. But like, <laughs> that's a bit of it. The. No. Look, look, <laughs> look before you burn? 
<laughs> I mean, early before you burn. Um, I mean, what we just, just burn the tree as well. I don't know why we didn't just think. Burn the tree could be it as well. That's also valid. The first burn is the tree piss. <laughs> The cheapest. Uh, <laughs> cheapest. Uh, I'm, I'm all far, I'm all far, far from the tree. Though. Yeah, far from the tree. I think that's winning. Let's go with far from the tree. Or my tree. only, <laughs> my only um, reservation is that we didn't have any, um, any, any held, held up sparks uh, to accompany. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, so far from the tree. Uh, that is at least a session title. Let us now talk about goals. My God, uh, Zara. Or a uh, completed, maybe? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you're out of the vault. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> imagine. Into the fire. Imagine she just sent you to a different vault. <laughs> that would suck. I never should have been there. vault! <laughs> After the vault and into the other vault. Oh. Cool. Uh, there we go. We've made. Significantly increased progress towards level nine. And then, Sweet. Yeah. Uh, next five. Done. Significant. Done progress. and done. Uh, and then, Lyco. As a great man once said, "Next, go and give it to you." Um, <laughs> you I feel like I haven't moved any closer, but that's fine. That's, that's right. fine. You're, it's, you no longer have the problem of stuck in a vault. So, that, yeah, that's, that's going to enable me mm -hmm. to go about this. Mm -hmm. I would say so. so. I count this as a complete win. Yeah. Uh, Zig, what about you and your goal? No, no confrontations. No. Okay, maybe next time. No worries. No worries, buddy. <laughs> but he wow. did confront the captain about his role in the crew. He rolled the egg. <laughs> he now knows his role within the crew. I think we all. <laughs> Zig keeper. I think we all know the word confront is what holds Zig back. So, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> shots fired and they miss. Um, right, well, good. We made some good. That's some good progress, guys. That's um, whatever percentage two out of nine is um, towards two ninths. There you go. That's yeah, that's a perfect percentage. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we're doing so well. Um, <laughs> it's like what, like twelve percent or some shit like that. Is somewhere in that region, isn't it? So. Uh, each, I mean, 12% each. Point uh, two two. Okay. Repeating, of course. Yeah. So, yeah, you only point one off. Yeah, okay, cool. So, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I, I did maths in my head, I didn't use calculators. Um, <laughs> bad maths are still maths. Is it? I work off averages. I don't do precise math. <laughs> but, right, so, um, we're done. Don't that to my boss. <laughs> I do English <laughs> get rid of maths. Oh, dear. Uh, right, so we've done the session title, we've done our goals. Let us do our roundup chat and we'll have Far From the Tree typed in and I'll actually fill this in. So, do you want to start us off, uh, Zora? Sure. Uh, <laughs> 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 it was fun something in combat, as per usual. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe just don't be shit. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's my tactic. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm pretty shit. Uh, <laughs> mm. uh, also, I'm pretty sure, guys, this is the end of chapter 7. Um, so, well done. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Oh, so we level up again. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, it, yeah, it just means cool. it's harder to level up. Uh, no, no, we, we use milestone leveling and goal leveling and XP. Oh, yeah, of course, right. Cool. All at once. And if we do all that damage then, just to make it fair. <laughs> uh, so, these are all dead three times over due to the first <laughs> goblin fight that only Zora was in. <laughs> 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 Strong goblins, man, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> all the fire. Transformative uh, damage that just goes through all party members because of you met them once. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, continue, Zora. Um, it's nice to get out of the vault. It's nice to have at least retrieved SK's body. Mm -hmm. um, um, we didn't all die, that's good. Also, top, yeah, top priority. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Queen Queen wanna be to be I never uh, even asked her name, which I love. Uh I think I did and she just totally blanked me, quite frankly. Um I don't know, I'd need to listen back because she probably would have answered if you'd actually asked her her name. She blanked me. 
Okay. Got swerved. I got, That's I how got Zora remembers it. And that may, in fact, be how it was. <laughs> oh dear. And it's how I choose to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that's correct or not. I don't really. I don't. <laughs> what are we talking about? I asked her who she was, and then she went on about who she was, but she never gave. She me. she not really one for answering that question. Nah, she's not. She's nah. She's not really good at that one. We had to kind of work that one out myself. Like, I mean, we know who her sister is or was, so that's pretty instructive in that regard. <laughs> yeah. Just need to go like read a book or something, I guess. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't... I guess just do that. Yeah. Cool, yep. Just gonna wait here until you awkwardly make more noises. Um... <laughs> mm -hmm. <Yeah. laughs> Alex, yeah. uh, mix five. Let us um, hear the wonderful roundup of the fucking untouchable eight foot android man. Yeah, I mean, I am now a space marine. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you will all pay for, you know, your... Crimes, Xeno scum. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're definitely Xenos. something weird. Um, <laughs> you're something weird. That's enough. <laughs> I think that's space marine logic. No, no, it was it was a fun combat. Actually, it's it's always nice to find that gulf between Nick's Five's personality and goals compared to his skill set. Yeah, because I like the this this gun thing isn't hitting. I can't just stand back. They have the thing I want. I'm going to get the thing I want. Punch, punch, punch. Victory. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, achieving his goal. <laughs> that was uh, well. I've got that same problem. Except <laughs> it's to the art extreme. <laughs> 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 and the plus side, you weren't in the, the breath weapon, so that was nice. I mean, I would have actually liked that. I'd have made me feel better about myself because he wouldn't have done damage to me. That would have been I something. <laughs> I also probably enjoyed the breath weapon scene as well. Yeah, like visually it's really, really cool because technically, like, obviously the new version of that scene is that you're there standing in the shimmering field looking at this big wave of fire and then at the end of it, Lyco's just ducked down and dodged it. Right? Yep. Realistically. So... Yeah. I imagine because I'm in the way of the middle of it. Yeah. Like standing right in the guy's mouth. So he's it gave that nice kind of like safety wake behind you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Please that's pretty cool. Again. That's damn damn cool as yeah. I've seen. Uh, I'm getting getting the handle on the new drow queen. It's kind of fun. Yeah, right. Like you didn't really get much of the old one, so it's kind of hard to compare, I guess. Yeah. Um, didn't seem as nice. Well, I've done, I mean, Nix's character's suspicion is over. Mm. Okay. Especially with the whole burning the tree. Mm -hmm. That just seems mean. Yeah, but I'm interested to see where the rest of this conversation with her goes. Right. Because um, there's so much space in Nix's backstory. Yeah, right. For people. <laughs> yeah. And it also it implies a lot, because obviously if you guys feel that she hasn't been outside in 500 years, mm -hmm. right, it begs the question of whenst she met you? Mm. Yeah. Right. How old is this boy? So, yeah, that'll be interesting. I'm I'm quite excited to explore that as well. Um, so, I look forward to this. And anything else you want to add? No, no. I think covers it. Cool. And Lola -la Lyco. Yeah, I think I think most of what we just said has been covered by the lads already. But uh, yeah, so it, it was it was nice interacting a bit more with her, getting a bit more of an idea about. Uh, what she is like, you know, we got a bit more of her, her sort of softer size mm -hmm. now that she's free. And she just hugged uh, you, right? How often is it? And then yeah. just hugs someone. <laughs> she was she was definitely on the nicer side of the scale. And I, uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed getting to actually do a bit of slash and stab. Obviously, we were doing it against an opponent who really hard for us to land a hit on. Mm -hmm. I do think ultimately, as much as it was risky. Getting in close was the right manoeuvre, simply mm -hmm. because even with a better understanding of how my sniper rifle was meant to work, uh, the only way that I, I'm going to be able to really do damage to him is just sheer volume of attacks, because mm -hmm. even with pretty good bonuses, like I'm still missing most of the time, so it's got to be sheer volume that I'm using to take this guy down, which means dual wielding the same weapon. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah, so I, I, I'm doing all so I, I could have done that with my guns, but my guns are weaker. Mm -hmm. um, obviously I can't do it with my sniper rifle, even if I had two of them. Um, 
Yeah. So it's it's yeah, it's sort of got to be like um, small arms or or stabber. So the stabber was by far the more effective option in terms of like you don't have to worry about reloading. Uh, in terms of the damage, um, the range obviously is a big downside. But that was it was it was interesting because it's obviously it worked out, mm-hmm. but it might not have. You know, had we not had the intervention of a friendly NPC, mm-hmm. which, you know, we earned. We mm-hmm. unleashed yeah. her. Um, but had she not been there, or had she not been powerful, uh, it could have gone very differently for us. To be us. fair, though, you'd also have had a zig, though, as well, if, like, the shoe was on the other foot type of thing, right? Yeah, we were, we were down a member, mm-hmm. and, you know, one of our NPC friends didn't come with us that might have been there otherwise. Yeah, exactly, because, you I know, mean, what the hell has Alice been up to, right? Exactly. So also, we, we, she we, may have been exposed to whatever you have done to the timeline. Mm, mm. Yeah. It's not my fault, it was all them. Um, <laughs> this is true, this is true. Uh, <laughs> I, so it's, it's, yeah, so it definitely feels like we could have won that, but it was dicey, and, yeah, it, it, was, it was a calculated risk. Uh, and I enjoyed getting to do it a bit because I like actually because I like the sense of it being an option resorted to out of frustration. Mm. To some extent, it feels pretty cool and pretty fitting that when trying to line up the shots isn't working, he just sort of walks closer, drops the gun, and starts swinging. You know. And here's, blades. and here's the thing as well, I wonder if it's, <clears throat> like, obviously you can answer this as the player of a Lyco, but, like, from Lyco's point of view, I wonder if the, obviously, guns have been his life, he's been reliant on them in a way, that he knows their, like, functionality, and the idea of all these changes that he's desperately trying to understand about his physical form, right, um, with all these, like, again, benefits and detriments to uh, yeah. his new physical form like his blades and his weird um, mental reorganisation like it may be almost interesting that he doesn't necessarily want to rely on that unknown hence why the it's blades are like a lack of go-to. Yeah. yeah I think something that I said and I'm sure I did say it I don't know how much it's sort of uh, remembered or noted is like a that when he used them in combat the first time that would have been the first time you guys saw them mm-hmm. unless you had some you know other source of information, which is possible, uh, because Lyco was a known quantity in certain areas. Like, you know, if you, if Cap had sought out info on him before working with them or whatever, mm-hmm. but that would have been your first experience of what they actually. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, um, sorry. Um, what they were actually like. That would be your first time seeing them. So he doesn't do that often. Mm-hmm. Most foes he would rather just take down with a gun or a knife. Um, but obviously things have been a bit more desperate recently and he's maybe having to uh, arm himself on a moment's notice or go places. And, and it's it's just, I like that sense of desperation. And yeah, you're right, it isn't his it isn't his automatic choice. The gun makes sense to him, allows him to keep safe distance. He's not a giant creature covered in massive armour. Mm-hmm. He's not really any tougher than a man except against certain things like yeah he's hard with the poison and what have you mm-hmm. um, you're not going to negative energy him but he's no more durable than an ordinary man that happened to be in very good shape because he trained as like a super yeah. spy but mechanically right ordinary guy um, this is it though because obviously if you guys get to a position where you're able to like you know restock right and reassemble and such then you just now kind of know where there are kind of like weak points within the the core group right um and even if that involves yep. getting people certain moves or equipment that then can cover things like whatever high ac is not going to work for because yeah you all can roll dice like d20s towards targets but like you maybe need some options for things like I mean let's face it it sounds kind of like you'll end up encountering these things again right yeah so you might not but if he's pursued a Hamani route he's are probably likely to so <laughs> yeah and I feel like we need some way to sort of you know not just tank in terms of have a lot of HP tank in terms of like force maybe not literally but maybe like do something that can 
encourage attacks towards a certain character. Mm -hmm. I think that yeah, aggro management that, basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, and stuff that forces saves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Which, <laughs> interestingly enough, came up early. Yeah. But that's it. Like, almost, almost like you might have known in advance. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very good that this. <clears throat> like I think, a lot can be learned, especially since obviously I wanted this guy to be like recurring. Um, in this particular scene, purely for the SK angle, and it was very important to have you guys like trying to face off it again. I also liked the idea that you get to see that this uh, people that have seen the flashback scenes know how powerful the Drow Queen was. Um, the Drow Queen like took on a very high level Salarian monk lady uh, with ease, quite frankly, um, and obviously attempted to mask herself and various other things from uh, the Urgalas entity, but this one didn't do anything overtly flashy. Like, her shield might have been cool looking, right? But then she just opened a doorway, right? As per her right as the vault owner. Um, so it's maybe just that this one's maybe a bit smarter, right? About how she's willing to fight. Because, yeah, you're right, her agreement was to get you guys out, so she wasn't exactly allowed to let you guys fall within the vault. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see your interactions, because you might have made an ally, right? If we can stop insulting her for five seconds. Well. <laughs> I say we are insults are a term of endearment, alright? <laughs> Next five is not deliberately insult. That explains the whole campaign, Zora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, right, for next five, right, it's maybe more, there's more of a curiosity now, given that small revelation at the end. Um, like, yeah. Because she's mm -hmm. been giving you strange looks the whole time, being like, <laughs> I'm used to that. You don't remember me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to see how this goes. Uh, it'll be fun to see what Zig thinks because he'll be ha out of the vault and he'll probably be happy with that. Um, that he didn't have to deal with trauma on the way out or accidental time travel adventures um, as he was quite prone for. So, yeah. I think that is us calling it a show unless I'm just getting anything else I want to add that isn't Colin because he's going to say something controversial. Good. Goodbye, everybody. Colin, who are you voting for tomorrow? <laughs> don't, don't ask. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Yeah, goodbye, everyone. Thanks for playing, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>